Opie Carrera is historically accurate. That is true. Korea is quite the competent nation. Um, right. Oh yeah, I did a Vene I was gonna maybe play Vanail in Ambernal. But you guys have been saying clamoring for e vanilla EU4. So here we go, vanilla EU4. What should the title be? Back in the saddle? Finish Horde World Conquest. I don't know. Title it Testicular Torsion. Are you sure about that? So we have a few options. We could do the thing that I was theory crafting, which was AQ into Georgia into Armenia into um something into something i think i forget what i was going to maybe form i mean the problem is like if you're chasing all the permanent modifiers you have to expand over here then you have to expand over here and then you have to expand over here and then you click all the missions at once and it was it's a lot um like it is a lot like for the the aq mission you have to conquer all of this all of this and then this and then this whereas the georgia mission has you go left I oh, know, Georgia also gives you a claim on a personal union on Russia. Uh, let's get far more niche and play Vicky Boo. Don't know about that one. You want to do a world conquest? You have to expand everywhere anyway? That's true. Um, so I was thinking. The original run was nice. And we do have it on normal difficulty, because I have been... I have been playing like a coward lately. So why don't we bump it back up to very hard? <sighs> Scotland is independent? Of course it is. It's 1444. Scotland starts independent. Hasn't been subjugated by the British yet. English, I should say. What about the land of the Vikings being about the old gods? Gotland? I tried the Gotland stuff. It's kind of meh. I mean, it's good, but... I don't know. I don't know about playing as the uh, Norse. It's completely silly. Completely silly. So, what I'm thinking is... We're going to play as the Knights. And honestly, if you're playing as Byzantium, you don't need to do any bullshit forming other countries. You can just play as Byzantium instead. <laughs> because it's already OP. Um, or you can play as the Knights and then form Byzantium. Alternatively, we can go Knights, Georgia, Byzantium. We skip out the Semansk stuff. Um, I, think, I think we can do that. Just go Venice and flip the biz. That's also an option we can do. Um, so what do you guys think? Venice? Knights? Uh, AQ. What about doing something about biz? Well, people have been clamoring for me to play, um, biz for a while in the new content, so I could also try as, try the biz start. Um, could also try the biz star instead. Moogles? I feel like after a while, like, the Moogles run just becomes trivial. Because you're so OP. Like, once you are the Moogles, it's kind of like, okay, well, I've won. Right? This thought has been done a billion times, so then... Nice. Mamluks? 
Andalusia? I've done Andalusia on stream. I have done, um, I've done... Did I do... Did I do it as Granada or did I do it as Morocco? I think on stream I've done it as Morocco, but privately I have done, um, re Reconquista. Turn Egypt, they have a nice government. Native American star. I'd rather n Colonel have underscore fun. Moss just resubscribed for four Colonel months. Moss. So the other day, my wife came up uh -huh. to me and asked me whether I thought our kids were spoiled. I told her, Ayo. I don't know, they smell fine to me, Jet's clueless. Ayo. Wow, Epirus's missions of ideas of. For a, a nation of such histori historic portions, Epirus, Epirot ideas are not very good. Uh, does Biz still have its Merc stuff? I guess you. I, oh. Does Biz still have its Merc cost? Or did it get removed? Or did it get replaced by the CCR? I think it did, didn't it? How about Japan? Lol. Lol. Uh, don't know about Japan. I don't know about Japan. I'll oh, just play as the Ottomans have. No, no, I'm gonna go play the Knights. I'll try the Knights. Well, we haven't done the Knights. Just play Shogun? Georgia? I was thinking Knights into Georgia. Into, um... Biz. Because that's like a... It's not like the worst mission tree. I don't want to fold Nippon Steel a thousand times. Not really. I haven't played E4 in so long. Um, haven't you done Knights? Yeah, but this time we'll actually finish the run. <laughs> this time we'll actually finish the run. And I figured people liked watching me play the hard starts, right? This time no cap for real for real. The last time was a multiplayer game? No. It was the, the run. And then, um... Ooh, game way laggy. I forget if I can go there. Anyway, the start is pretty simple. Delete the fort. It's too expensive. You can even delete your men. We'll definitely delete the horse. The last save that showed up was the multiplayer file. Oh, that was the collab, yeah. That was Vanale. That was, um, Andal uh, not Andalusia. That was, uh, Anbanar. Let's see the DS. Dev roads with admin. Solga owned by the knights. That's some wishful thinking. And production. Go the production. Uh, so let's set up the estates. Let's set up our estates, hey? Thank you for follow. Um, also, I saw Saffron's, uh... I saw Saffron's, uh, what's it called? What was it called? Uh, idea... Um, tier list, and it was very bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I don't want to flame her, but it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It was not a good tier list. Oh, so much of it that I disagreed with. So much of it that I disagreed with. Um, we are a theocracy, so if I'm not mistaken, our clergy has the most influence. Because we're a theocracy? Oh, it's 5%. Um, it was a democratic tier list. It was... Some of those choices were... Um, is there just difference? Sure. I'm probably going to flip orthodox, like, straight away. I don't know. Um, in fact, do I want to flip orthodox? 
You have to be Catholic to form Jerusalem. Like, what happens if you flip? Does this require you to be Christian? Liege, religion and providence is Catholic? What? <laughs> what? So my missions require me to be Catholic. Right. How do you form Latin Empire again? You know chat voted for it? It was a community multiplayer game, unless you did Venice to Byzantium a second time. The last time I played at U4? No, the last time I played at U4 was the Ambanar game. Oh, chat voted in for places in the tier list? Well, chat is dumb. Why would you put maritime in, or naval? What was it? Fucking, hang on. I mean, look at this. Why the fuck would you put naval in A tier? You never need naval. <laughs> it's a bad idea group. You don't need these little, these little stupidest idea groups. If anything, these are situational. Yes, but also, hey, wait a minute. That one was a joke? I fucking hope so. Um, quantity is not as good as it used to be. They did buff it again, but, like, Merc ideas are, like, so OP. Like, Merc ideas are busted. If you're playing a nation that has Merc ideas, does knights have stuff with Mercs? I don't think they do. Because, like, Merc ideas are so strong. And multiplayer naval can be really good for island nations. Saf removed all options for S and A? Mercs are busted. Yeah. Well, I, I also think I don't rate innovative ideas. Innovative ideas is... What is Merc plus inner? What is it? Why can't I see it on the list? Is it at the top? I'm literally reading it right now. Where is Merc? I see maritime, offensive quality. Oh, there we go. Military advisor cost, military tech cost. I don't rate that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, Merc ideas are OP. Like, especially if you play as a nation like Switzerland. With already boosting mercs. Stupid. Like, Venice has, I think, some merc maintenance in its ideas. Um, you get negative 90 on a military advisor. I know, but time you don't need. Negative 30 mil tech. Oh, right, you're including the stuff from, you know. I just disagree with Inno as an idea because you want it for the Inno. You want to hit 100 Inno, but you can hit that naturally. You, do need, not need, you don't need to spend so much admin at the start of the game on an idea group that you are dropping. Like, that, it does have some decent stuff. Like, monthly war exhaustion is rare, and I wish that wasn't there because it does make the idea group more... powerful but i don't know i don't i don't like it one free policy is good late game free policies is a good later game you don't need like the that's the thing with the idea group is like it has yeah first idea mill is best yes you don't want to go admin group first generally you generally don't want to go admin idea group in tech five um, it's a bunch of free mana, it's just by definition one of the best of idea groups. No, but you can get the benefit from it, like, you can get the innovativeness without sinking 2,000 however many admin points to get it. It does have good policies, it is, but I feel, I feel like an I picking an idea group for the policy is 
not ideal. It's just one idea group that gets useless when you hit 100 inner. I don't know, I just... Like, the main draw of innovativeness is innovativeness. A lot of idea groups give more mana naturally. Yeah, like, admin will save you more in the long run. Technically, court ideas will also give you more dip in the long run. Um, because it gives you more, it gives you a monthly dip. Um. Than the tech cost. Like, I think people are overestimating how much you actually spend in the game on tech ideas. Like, tech cost. Than, um. Like, everything else. Like, tech cost reduction is nice. But you don't actually spend that much on tech in the first place. It's bait. It's not bait. It's just... I think people see tech cost reduction and they're like, oh, that's really good. Like, it's okay, but if you add up all the um, points that you spend in a game, the amount that you're playing on tech will be vastly, vastly inferior um, to other things. More ideas is cheaper tech. That is true. That is true, but if you want cheaper ideas, you go Humanist. Which is a different idea group. <sighs> um, I don't know. Like, there's just... I feel like in, in admin ideas, you have innovative competing with religious and admin. And to an extent, Humanist. Like, these three will save you... I mean, it depends on what the game is. Depends on what you're playing. Like, admin will save you more points than, you know. Which has, admin has tech cost reduction. For admin, but... Like... I don't know. The only useful humanist idea is 10 idea cost. Are you kidding me? No, it isn't. Year of separatism, negative 10 is massive. Extra tolerance is great. Religious Unity is one of the most OP um, modifiers in the game. Um, improved Relations is uh, anti-aggressive expansion. Humanist plus Italy idea set gives you 80% improved relations. Like, you can just never get coalitioned if you got that. Just kill the rebels? If you take Humanist, you don't have rebels. Like, you core think... Like, you take admin, and presumably you'll have some CCR in your ideas, and you have absolutism, then you get, um, you call things in less than nine months, in which case you don't get rebels. And then the humanist ideas stops uh, any rebels from popping up. Religious helps you a lot with unrest. Yeah, but if you're playing a nation that can't convert, like a horde, because you're taking more land than you are converting um then that's an issue like religious versus humanist it has there are different use points like if you're doing a one faith one culture you definitely want religious ideas but if you're not you can definitely go humanist ideas instead and it saves you a lot infrastructure ideas is i have to play with it some more i haven't really been using it it has some weird modifiers in it. Prosperity growth is great. Um, movement speed is unique. I don't know, does infrastructure have good policies? Probably not. <laughs> I think infrastructure is 100% a multiplayer idea. Or it's a tall idea group. Like, I say that, but like, you know, obviously having construction costs having more things to build is going to help you. Um, but it feels like a tall idea group. It has the ten dev cost reduction. I know, but when you had negative 20 dev cost reduction in economic originally, it feels a bit infeed. It feels a bit worse. Infra, infra offensive has plus two artillery versus thought. Thoughts? It does have move speed as well. I don't know. 
I'm looking at this and it's like... What mercenary ideas can enable you to do is uh, really strong, especially as a smaller nation. You can get plus seven on the fort. I know, but you still want to have combat with, with your cannons. Like, like, if you're already building cannons for your stacks, like, is it that good? I guess it amplifies it, but what's the point? Thoughts on the best mill idea group? Best mill idea group? Uh, well, I can't see all of them. I don't have... I'm divine at the moment. It used to be for a long time for me defensive, and then they nerfed defensive into the ground. Um, by getting rid of the attrition reduction. Right? Defensive used to be S tier, and now it's honestly B tier. Which is sad, because I really liked getting it for the morale of armies. It depends on what difficulty. That's true. Quantity used to be OP. I mean, old quantity. Like, I mean, the old, most recent quantity was like... It was only good if you already had a big army. Um, and I think that still stands. Honestly, I think quality might be up there. I think quality might be the best mill idea group at the moment, but I think mercenary ideas might be it. I think mercenary ideas over quality, um, but it also depends on what your situation is. Like, different nations have different ideas. If you're playing as Brandenburg into Prussia, quality is your option. Quality quantity is probably what you want. You don't really need... Um, you don't need offensive. Like, offensive is actually one of the weaker idea groups in terms of buffing your troops because it buffs your generals rather than your troops. The biggest thing about offensive is siege ability. Um, it also gives you more troops. That is true. It gives you more troops. Um, discipline's nice. The biggest thing is siege ability in offensive. Because I'm looking at this as someone who does world conquests. Um, siege ability is the biggest time saver. It's going to have more impact in the World Conquest than um, anything else. If you have special forces, it can be really nice. Yeah, but you, most of the time you're not playing as nations that really... <sighs> it depends, I guess. I should do my ideas. My um, thingies, yeah. I don't know. Why is Divine so shit? I mean, I don't ever pick it. Dev cost is nice, but it's only 5%. Fire damage received is not the best military modifier. Uh, cost of reducing war exhaustion, you generally don't want to spend that anyway. Um, leader cost is... You're better off just conquering Japan. <laughs> Getting the, the wonder over there instead of this one. Um... Culture conversion cost, so if you're doing a one culture, that's pretty important. Um, national unrest is is okay. Pesh these from land battles, manpower, and true faith provinces. 15%. Prestige from land battles isn't that important. Manpower and true faith provinces? Like, the only tags that can get divine ideas are theocracies, right? So you're looking at the crusader states. And even then, some of them are monarchies anyway, so... Well, and then the guys over here... I don't know, it's just kind of a bit weak. Like, if you compare this to plutocratic, at least plutocratic gets 10 morale of armies. Um... Like, I think it has some decent policies. But again, like, I, like there, like, Divine Religious gives you an extra 10 morale. It used to give morale as well? Yeah, well, they nerfed it, and now it's... 
Like, the policies are decent. Getting more CCR, years of separatism, that's nice. But I wouldn't go divine economic, I don't think. Like, things that make sense, like divine expansion? Divine religious obviously makes sense if you're playing a religious game. Um, siege ability with espionage? I don't know. I never play as indigenous, so I don't remember what indigenous ideas are. Horde ideas is probably one of the best military groups. Out of the unique ones, Horde is definitely top tier. Anyway, let's finish the tiers. Plutocratic is better than Divine. Yeah, and even then, Plutocratic isn't that good, because it's just like a mishmash of stuff that's meh. It's not really like a master of... That's the problem with a lot of idea groups, is that they try and, like, hit different things. That's why, like, that is why Merc ideas are so OP. Literally everything is to do with mercenaries. Because technically, warp mill tech cost gets you better Mercs. Um, like, every single idea affects your mercenaries. That's why one of the, it's one of the most OP um, idea groups, is every single idea group actually makes what it's trying to buff better like um it's one of the it's probably the most focused group like i guess naval technically um is maybe more focused in that literally everything helps your ships um if you do mech plus war economy reform you always have free mech ideas. Isn't the better reform to go if you're taking mercenaries to get the... Where is it? Is it this one? Elite mercenaries? Oh, it's an economy reform? Do I get that as a theocracy? Uh, oh, uh, there it is. Ship cost is not that good, great. Regiment cost is, I mean, technically ship cost and regiment cost is your upkeep. Um, Because if you don't know how units work, the upkeep of your unit is dependent on the initial cost. Um, so the 0.22 is affected by this being 10. Um, the horse being 25 is affected, I mean, the 0.55 upkeep is affected by the horse being 25. So, yeah. I guess, yeah, then you technically have free war taxes, but... That's a lot of commitment for making war taxes still useful throughout the rest of the game. I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily see that as, like, you compare that to... Uh... Inflation reduction interest per annum is really strong. I think that's what I would always pick out of this idea group. I mean, if you're colonizing, that's pretty good. But you have to have finished one of the idea groups by the time that happens. I would probably just always go economic theory. It's also a tier 8 idea for me, which is... sounds wrong. Um... Uh... There we go, Supremacy of the Crown. But bear in mind, I'm playing Knights on what hardest difficulty. I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of restarts. So I might need to... What is my air? Oh right, we... I have to unpause to get the event. Hello, Richter. Thank you for the watch streak. Thank you guys for the watch streak. I saw someone posting on Discord that they have a 69 watch streak, which is quite funny. But unfortunately you can't ping that one. Wait, am I? No. That's four. I don't really miss. Do I want to? Do I want anything else? No. 
bourgeoisie. Patronage of the arts. Uh, we'll probably take the loans because we need to make a lot of boats. Grand prize. And. National Sailors, and this one for the free Admiral. This one's really good. But I'm an OPM, so it doesn't matter. Uh, kill the watch streaks? I, I should. I probably should. That's also a decent one as well. Did I get the... Draft Ships of War? Yeah. Half cost, early carry. The thing with that one is it's a little bit of a trap because our ship build time in roads is really bad, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, it takes us a long time because it's not our religion. Right? Right? Like galleys take 578 days because we have neg we have 62.5 unrest. Isn't build speed based on tax dev? It is. It is. Oh. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I wanna keep two ideas free from nobility, because I will be taking vassals. I think. Cleric Pston just resubscribed for four Preston. months. Clio I cuddle squibby, Clio I cuddle squibby. Thank you very much, Claire Preston. Also, thank you for the follows, by the way, guys. Orgy. Well, if we're flipping orthodox. So I just want to hang on. I'll just save the game and. I just want to check something real quick. Apologies. Before I, before I commit to flipping religion. I need to, uh, check that, uh, I can actually still finish my missions. I think I have to be, I think I have to be Catholic to finish my missions. Oh, sorry, I'm not loading a slave. Uh, I'll just... I'm pretty sure at least the first one is locked to being Catholic, which is not ideal because I want to... Like... Um... These will flip. Or should. Um... Did I not press play? Oh, I thought I did. Oh, that sucks ass. There we go. So if I just click accept. Why is it saying Liege? Religion in province is Catholic. Since Jerusalem requires Catholic, I'm not going to Jerusalem. Uh, oh, what is it? Uh, relations. Give. Is it give relations? App. Two hundred. Is it relation? Oh God! What is the? I don't cheat in E4. I'm sorry, guys. One sec. What is the... What is it? Console command. 
beautiful. Relation. Is there no idea? Is there no command to set your relation? Maybe it's Liege that counts for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Is there no console command to just have... Or like, set your relation with the country? Uh... 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 Oh, Lossie's having a dream. Opinion. That's it. Sorry, wrong game. Opinion. Add opinion. Add opinion. Two hundred. Ah. Eh? Oh. Add opinion. Two hundred. Wait. Night Hap. Wait, no. Hap Night? Oh, and then I need a uh, military. Oh no, it's this one, right? Total development grown by at least 10. Wait, what? Oh. Would you look at that? The mission changed. Would you look at that? The mission changed. Now it's total development grown by 10 instead of having an opinion of the Pope. And then the big one is this one? Oh, you lose the events. Oh, you lose the good events. Does that require you to be Catholic? It looks like it does. Oh, the missions just say one of the options. Hi, Saffron. Saffron, your idea tier group was cursed. No offense. <laughs> cursed. Uh, let me just check this. What is it? Uh, debug. Mode. No. Oh, if I haven't cheated in U4 in so long. What is it? Debug mode. Uh. What is it? Colonize? 3313? Do I. What do I have to do for the first one? Oh, I need to have a massive fleet. An admiral. Oh, oh, that's gonna be so painful. One sec. Can you just create ships in console commands? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh. No, you can't. Okay, well, we have to wait, I guess. Apparently, that got me this mission done for some reason. And then Admiral. Just not. Uh, well, we just fast forward for a bit. I suppose we can um, burn our dev real quick. Is that it? Total navy size 100 to force them. Are you trying to do Jerusalem One Conquest again? No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you always pick the top one because it's the second one's option. It's really good. It's um admin? 
affection with... Did I wow, he's just dog shit ass. Is it admin? Still read WC as well as wash closet. Yeah, there we go. You don't get the event. Okay, well, no point flipping orthodox straight away then. Four more to go. Nice. You're required Catholic for the event. Yeah, the event is really strong. It's like 10 morale for the rest of the game, which presumably will stay as the entire game, right? What's the goal then? Uh... We'll find out. I don't know, we're just kind of check out the Knight's World Conquest on very hard again. Okay. I haven't really thought it through yet. Have not thought it through. We'll see how we can go. We'll keep, we'll definitely get this thing if we're staying Catholic, because we're going to be fighting Orthodox and then Muslim. And... We're going to have to deal with the fact that our Capital is uh, the wrong religion. So we're going to have to convert it, which means we need to take uh, this, and we actually need to take one more, which is bad because I need to. I needed to take religious center, religious culture. No, I took the wrong missions. Actually, wait, can I it? Negative 1.1. We can convert it, actually. We need a missionary. Get the national unrest guy. Pick that buy him next month. We can actually still start converting. Um, doesn't seem to be removed if you change religions. Okay, cool. Thank you for checking. Latin Empire is Catholic. I know, but why be Latin Empire when you can be Byzantium? <laughs> Which, now that I think about it, Byzantium already has like a shit ton of permanent modifiers in its mission tree. Like, why do I need this? Yeah, it's an extra 10%. It's pretty good. Wait, what am I missing? Why do I only have 10%? Wait, why do I have 10% crown then? Did I start off with 40? I have religious state. Latin Empire is related to the Venetians. We know that the Venetians are bastard men. No? I guess I started off with 40 crown then? I did not notice. Did I take the loan? I did. Um, we're gonna go for the conversion straight away. And we have the- we have the money to... Start building as many gallery. Oh, it's so expensive. It is so expensive. We need to just build as many galleys as possible. Um, and then our diplomats, we are going to be fabricating on Athens. Fabricating on Athens, which means we're fabricating on the Byzantines, actually. And then we're going to Oh, we don't necessarily need to, because we need to improve relations with the Pope. Alright, that's the other one. The permanent claims on... Uh, Maria and the Aegean. 
Aegean. Aegean, Aegean. I always want to say Aegean, but yeah. He told your advisor about you. He was curious about what me or my associates do, and I figured a history professor may be interested. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for mentioning me, I guess. I don't know. I'm removed from academia now, so... Oh, my money's all gone. Let's not pay for our trip. And uh, let's get the show on the road. Start raiding everyone. Oh, right. First, we need to get a good air. And I... Th what is our... What is our estate? It's the bourgeois. So maybe we pick something that isn't... Is gonna nerf the bourgeois a little bit. Which is this one. Or this one. This is Papal Influence. Uh... It also nerfs the nobility. So let's just do the clergy one. Right? Yeah. Let's do the clergy one. Okay, fingers crossed, guys. How many guesses do we restarts? I think we'll be okay. A lot of it is luck of the draw, though. Bearing in mind, I did the previous attempts pre-patch. So Byzantium is stronger now. Uh, yeah, I want this one. Okay, well that's uh, god luck. Who wants to be uh, Philibertus? How old is he? He is 35. <laughs> Who wants to be my heir? Destroyed. 45. Playing this game on a massive, the new monitor is a bit weird still. And then I probably want to wait a little bit on those. I think we'll just start converting straight away. We do need to hunt for a uh, navy morale guy. We do need to hunt for a navy morale guy. Also, we have a we have a trader free. Doesn't really matter because we have no trade presence anywhere else. We can put it in Ursa eventually because we'll have land. In well, eventually. Okay, I'm gonna just save, grab the backup, because that's a really good air start. Of course Flurry is streaming now, what the fuck? Why is Flurry streaming at 2pm my time, what the fuck? What? Isn't it like 5 a.m. for him? Seeing my thunder? Kinda. I mean, it's not a like I've I think I've talked about this before. If Flurry streams EU4 when I'm playing EU4, like people leave my stream to go to his. Um, like that's not a secret. Um, and me mentioning it probably doesn't help. Uh, where is... Where is... Save games. Oh, no, I have to do the other folder. Um... Desktop. No. Okay. Documents. Paradox. Oh, wow. I have so many games here now instead of just E4. Save games. Uh, World Congress. Let's go. Control C. Desktop. E4 saves. Let's go. Um, okay. Good air start. 
There we go. He saw you taking your thunder. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, it's time to raid. We can speed it up. Okay. At least he's never added that. Um... Oh my god. What the hell? That's pretty good. That, those are really good <laughs> traits. What the fuck? I should, you know what? I should make the save now, actually. Because that's random. One sec. Let me go do that again. Um... Saves. We'll see. Uh, slot by, by date modified. Really good air start. Delete the original. Okay, well, we've got our backup now. Really? Like, no valid targets in here? Thank you, Nimrider. Thank you for watching. Have I already raided here? Why can't I raid? Why can't I raid him? Eh? Why can't I raid the Muslims? No valid targets nearby? What the fuck are you talking about? What? Why can't I... It hasn't been raided. This is literally the best province for me to raid. What? Have they changed it that you can't raid Alexandria? I'll have to check that again. Too far? No, it's literally right next to my capital. Oh, I haven't deleted the fort. I have. Seeing which... Uh, maybe we want to do the thing where it's guaranteed to get- Oh, never mind, I can't guarantee. Like, why can I not... Like, this is technically the best area to raid. Can you not raid Catholics? No, the, the, the Alexandria is here. I can't raid out that, but I can raid these. They're sunny. Hang on, let me check. Economic piracy. I have a truce with the Mamluks? Why do I have a truce with the Mamluks? Is that new? Do the Mamluks start with a truce now? The Mamluk? Why do I have a truce with them? Huh? I'm so con- what? That wasn't there last time. No, that's really not what I want. That would be great, but not now. Why do they have a truce? Has anyone noticed that before? Oh, Nicholas, I don't want you. I really want to keep Lucas, but I might have to fire him. I'm going to lose so much money, probably just firing for this guy.
copies? No. This is what you get for not reading the fine print. I don't understand why. Oops, we didn't grant some dependence. I guess technically having the starter guy be a, a, a religious guy or zealot or whatever it is. No. If it gets too bad, I'm probably going to just reload the save. Maybe reloading the save will fix it. I don't know. Why do I have a truce with the mammoths? No, oh, okay, this is getting a little bit silly, just RNG Jesus. Quite literally RNG Jesus not being able to get a missionary. Please? Please, for the love of God, can I have a missionary? Please? Please, pretty please? I want to focus on dip. Please. Technically, if I fire both of them, I have a better chance of getting him, but I kind of want to have Luca eventually for uh, Radical Reforms because we have the trader. Uh, why is this man so rare? Glasses toggle. Thank you for letting me be able to see. Oh, Johan. If we hit zero money without getting him, then I'm just going to restart. LOC posted a clip of you a few hours ago. LOC? Full Master of Kotek? Oh, come on. Oh, low effort clips. I thought that would have been LEC. Not LOC. I did see it, yeah. I did see it. It was the... Me forgetting how... What C was is... In E equals MC squared, if I'm not mistaken. Please. Pretty please, can I have the... Oh, okay, well we have the claim on Athens. The only problem is we do want to jump on him, so he's got Serbia as an ally, which is fine, because no, um... He has no, um... What's it called? He has no... Navy. I'm out of money, so I'm gonna reload. Sorry, guys. I'm not st I'm not counting that one as a restart because that's just me getting unlucky with RNG Jesus, and there is technically a way to fix that, but I have to mess up my estates, so don't really want to do that. Um, like I literally lost how many dice rolls then? Like how many of those dice rolls, dice rolls did I just get wrong? Uh, Control C. An absurd amount. You know? All the money from raiding gone. Selling uh, Crownland gone. All the money from... Um, burger loans as well. What is it? What is C? Um, I forget. C is E equals M, no, it's M equals, no, C equals MC squared? No, E equals MC squared, which is energy equals mass times C, which is, I think, the speed of light? Is it the speed of light? Correct? Yeah, it is the speed of light. Constant. Yeah, see, I did remember it. I'm just going to delete these real quick. Oh, I loaded it instead. Oops. You keep your heresy. I don't think I deserve that. For Keeper me. underscore of underscore heresy just gifted five yeah. subs. Um, thank you. Really good air stars. This one, right? 
So do I have a truce with the Mamluks? I do. This is bullshit. You just start with a... I guess you just start with a fucking thing. That's so stupid. Okay, well, um, sail over there, then there, then there. There, then there, then there. Then there. Okay, now we try and... Get lucky. And the fact that you can't raid the Mamluks at all is dumb as fuck. Um, so that's a significant portion of your income just gone. Like, yippee, the, one of the strongest naval things there. They added it in King of Kings. I think they had to, because otherwise I wouldn't notice it, right? And I'm 90% sure I uh, didn't have that last time. Right? Am I mistaken? I'm sorry, I'm going on about the game. What is King of Kings? Oh, no, that's me. That's the permitted term for King of Kings, sorry. Are you sure? Please? Literally a hundred ducats. Just getting flushed down the drain because I can't get a missionary. That I desperately need. Come on. I'll just get rid of the the guy now. Maybe I should I shouldn't really, because this is really expensive. Please, missionary? Please, 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 please. Please. Pretty please, cherry on top. Um, I can also not pay for my navy as well. I have a mess. I have a. Please? Please. Are there different weights to advisors? If that, if I'm converting something, surely that would make it go up. Do I have the edict on? Yes. I also want to stab up. At some point. Oh, come on. I'm literally out of money again. Right, religious unity plus a hundred percent. Oh no, okay. You would think theocracies would know how to hire a fucking zealot. The low effort clip one of you chanting U4 lives in my head at all hours. Nice. Or is that nice? That might be not good for your mental health. Hi, can I the fact that you have to take the reform, I might have to restart because I don't have the reform to guarantee it. I could... Wait, I fucked up. Sorry, I have to redo it. Um, pictures, documents, save games, control F, replace the file. Okay. Play it again. Take umpteen, I don't know. Just to get an advisor. Oh, so, so stupid. Oh no, I seized land, so my, my clergy is really unhappy with me. So I'm not going to be able to take the policy away. If I take away the thing, then it's going to go, like, the loyalty is going to go massively down. I can try. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Thank you, Low Effort Clips, for clipping me. I very much appreciate it. I am in struggle straight, guys. We went from feasting to famining straight away because the game decided to fuck on me. 
Like, why? Why is this a thing? Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I actually can. Never mind. Um... Probably religious diplomats, then? Just get rid of that. And then get... Actually, I could do two, because I could get um, religious culture. Oh no, that costs crown land. Never mind, I don't want to do that. Uh, Is it this one? It's level two. It's going to be so expensive. Give me a minister, please. No. Inquisitor. Okay, well, we have him. It's so expensive. I bet you I fire this guy and then I can get the... It's like, oh, holy fuck, this is so expensive. Fucking hell. RNG hates me. Like, the, the best thing to do would be to just keep saves coming because it would be a massive um, economic cost to have this guy. Like, four ducats a month? Like, I'm gonna burn through that so quickly. But it's the only way I can fast convert a capital, and there's you have to convert it. You either flip straight away, um, and just sacrifice the event. Did I get this one? I guess I did. Yeah, I did. And then... Everything's expensive. But the good news is that it's going to convert quickly. Right? You big boob hunter 696969 Six, just resubscribed for 18 months. Thank you. Restricted slash repetitive behavior. I don't is a have poor autism. diagnostic criterion for autism. Motor repetitions, referred to as lower order, include self stimulation, I don't hand have flapping, autism. twirling, repeating phrases, manipulating objects, banging toys together and repeatedly pushing buttons and playing as the same faction in a game over and over again. That's not autistic. That means every high elf fanboy is autistic. That means all the fucking Cleo play high elves! Cleo play high elves! They are? Oh fuck. No, no! This isn't true. I'm not autistic. Every StarCraft pro is autistic? I'm not a pro at anything. And then you guys are gonna be like, oh no, she's not pro-life or pro-choice. And I'm gonna be like, that's not the same. Welcome to the High Elf Club. I'm not playing the High Elves ever now that you've done that. Thank you for tier three sub at 18 months. Thank you very much. Why did you make this political? Because I saw the avenue and I took it. I, I steered that car off the, the street. Okay. I have destroyed 45. On the throne. We need Destroy to have an heir. Our clergy is not very happy with us. Neither is our bourgeois, but our bourgeois has so many thingies. Um, what would be... Nobility? No, we want the nobility to be... Ha what is this? What is your loyalty? 57. 68. 60 okay, well, we have to do the nobility then. Uh... Sacrifice to nobility, where is it? This one? Prestige cost. Oof. Local preacher. Okay, who wants to be the heir? Holy heck. We're getting some pretty good luck with the rulers, not anything else though. Yeah, make me a general as the redeem to become the heir. Ooh. Ooh. And he's gonna get- you're gonna get a personal- oh, you know what, you have to lead for a while. The only problem is theocracy leaders die very, very quick. Like, 
really, really quick. Oh, you're calm. There we go. Yeah, so with... When is this finishing? 1488. 48. May 48. I mean, that will be useful in a sec. Because we'll have subjects. Does uh, Byzantium now put his um, army in Maria? Where is his army? No. I'll just keep this ship here so I can actually see what's happening. Because if he starts moving over here, I'm in trouble. Because I'm in no shape to invade. Um, 29 ships. That's pretty cooked. How many month ticks is this? Is there any way for me to make this go faster? And we're probably going to have to save scum until if the Ottomans goes for biz straight away. This leader is all as clear, so he might die first. Oh. Yeah. For some reason... Theocracy rulers just die very, very quick. At least you don't get stab hit for it, but it's pretty brutal. Yeah, I think if I had the... I must... I should probably... If we do a full restart, I need to make sure I also take the other reform that increases the religious stuff. So I'd probably take Oversight of the Clergy and take the... Um, the Crownland one, which is annoying, but you kind of have to. Because uh, otherwise it's just you're taking so much, so much fucking money. Uh, institution spread, trade efficiency, yes. Yeah, sure. Do I have the claim? Okay. Oh, I also, yeah, I'm improving relations with the Pope, right? Uh, we don't need to pay for force. And then, yeah, we just wait. We just wait. So how are you guys doing? Do you have anything fun planned for today? Anyone got anything fun planned for the Thursday? Slash Wednesday? Because at the moment, I have a little puppy next to me. She is asleep. Um, putting away laundry? Nice. Always productive. Always very productive. Lifting? We're going to finish two books and go to the notary. I finished a book, uh, wait, did you just become a tributary? No. No. Okay, good. I finished a book not too long ago. Um, I downloaded, like, an e-book on my phone. It's, like, the worst way to read a book, but it's okay. It's your day off? Nice. Maybe you have a nice, relaxing day off. Making a video game? What type of game are you making? You're going to bed eventually. You have a nice sleep. You gang, wake up, rise up. Hey, what the hell is Flurry doing? You exclusively read ebooks for the last few years. It's just much more practical. I think it is. Like having an ebook, like reader, is probably practical. Like maybe not necessarily on your phone though. I don't know. Okay, they're paying for their troops, so they're going somewhere. Guaranteeing Serbia, so they're not going to attack Serbia. That means if they fight um, Byzantium, they will fight Serbia. So I will need to have the gold mine. Okay, where are his troops going? Is he going to go for Albania? Well, if he goes for Albania, he fights Serbia and Venice. And he out. Oh, what the fuck? Venice, what are you doing? Why do you have a trade league with just Silly in it? He has like 10 tags he can invite to a trade league, by the way. Like, more than 10, actually. He went for Theodoro first. What? I mean, that kind of works in our favor. Because that's 
Circassia, Trebizond, and Theodoro. It's going to take him a while. Oh, Hungary went for Bosnia, so that calls in Serbia. Okay, so that's good for us if we attack Biz, then. Because Serbia might not want to join in the future. I'm hoping he'll delete this fort. Yeah, we do have enough transports at least. And we will need to ask um, Venice for access. In fact, let's just do that now. Yeah? Uh, I need to ask for access in Venice so I can land in Negroponte. How powerful is Venice in relation to the Ottomans? You clap the Ottos as Venice. Um, they have a bigger navy. No, they don't. Never mind. Very hard difficulty. <laughs> okay, Ottoman has a 54k fleet. Oh no, that's 54k troops. They have 30k troops. 38 fleet, uh, ships, 26 ships. They beat them in the navy. The way you play it as a player is you just take occupy this and then you block the strait and then you stop him from marching round. Knights came to possess roads after yanking up the Byzantines in the 1300s. That is true. That is true. And then they got booted out, like, a hundred years later. Why is Serbia and Bosnia just chilling there? I mean, that's really good. I would have loved this event, like... I don't know. two years ago in game time? That would have been great. Fucking hell, though. The stab hit is shit. It also means my tech cost as well goes up for 10 years, which is not ideal. But it gets the conversion faster, which, you know, I can then pay off the stab hit afterwards. Uh, you had a time you slept from 1 to 4 p.m. to close to 10 to 12 a.m. just to catch clear streams. Oh god, I hope you weren't just, you know, staying up for my streams. Like, my streams, I appreciate the support, but also, like, there's much more important things than watching my stream, like your own health. Your own health is much more important. Much, much more important. So, if I'm not mistaken, there was... this one? This gets me, um... Greek as an accepted culture. So I lose a stability and a hundred dip. Which is... not ideal, but you do get a nice per um, permanent modifier. Simp responsibility? No! Look after yourself. Being a UND requires some sacrifice, we must prevail. I... have I taken any regular loans yet? No, I haven't, but I should almost be done, right? Yeah. So we didn't- we managed to avoid taking any loans, which is good. Um, okay. He did not delete the foreign roads yet. Oh, I have to insult his friends, don't I? Uh, Genoa. And then I can do this. Probably should have done Provence, not Genoa, because Genoa has lands here. Okay, finally, we have the thing. We turn this off. Fire this guy, so I'm no longer hemorrhaging money. And then... We can't- oh fuck, wait, these rebels being here means he brings his army over. Shit. Okay, but now we can stab up, because it's cheap. So I stab up, twice, I then- wait, 
Where is this? This one? Oh, I need stab of at least two. I'll stab up again then. It's expensive, but... I think it's worth it in the long run. It's a permanent modifier. Permanent modifiers are nice. I do lose 100 dip as well. This one? Like... You could just also... Like, it's 5% national manpower, which is not that big. Um... But actually, we want to now work on our prosperity. So that we can get... Um, what's it called? The Renaissance. It's very important that we get the Renaissance. Nice, we've got some hardy semen. Any, any guys in chat with hardy semen? Any hardy semen in chat? Or owners of hardy semen? Sweet, we need uh we need some good sailors. I'm clear I'd like to know. I oh, saw that. Oh I hope he fucks off back to Byzantium. Oh my god, he hired mercs. Oh No he didn't. Oh my god, it's got a 3341. What the fuck? Delete the fort, you fuck. Please? Please go back to Byzantium. It's very important that you defend it. Serbia? Oh, he already peaced out. Fuck. Oh, wait. That's bad. If he's guaranteeing Serbia, then Serbia will be able to get access. So I will have to fight Serbia. I might have to island trap him in Negroponte then. In which I stand on Naxos. Do I have access to Naxos? We've been here for a minute. Talked about health a bit earlier, but I'll take a late hello over here. Did you? A minute ago? Oh yeah, I read your comment about fun facts. Yeah. Okay, well he ate Trevor's wand. 50k troops. A little scary. Hi, how are you? I'm... Hey, I've had a lack of sleep. Can you not have 18k troops? Thank you. What oh, the fuck? Might be good to just get my troops over there. Into Nassau straight away. I need to have high, high mobility. Oh, wait, no, that's a bad idea. Because if I lose the naval battle, then they're dead. Also, yeah, I can't do that because they're going to get black flagged. I'm an idiot. Okay, come back home. Also, I'm not paying for my ships. Can you go away? Sail home. Why am I doing this? Can you really not have that many troops. Why has Athens got 6k? How does Athens... Normally Athens is disloyal. YouTube famous? That remains to be seen. Okay, he ate Trevor's on. Oh, That's not good. He might go for them? Which in, in which case they'll he'll lose the access because he'll, um, well, he technically will have access, but he'll have to take Selenic. 21k. Good lord. I do need the naval morale guy. I also need to have a bigger navy. Oh, he'll snap. The, the Ottomans will smash his navy. And then I, I just need to sneak in and grab Athens. That's all I need to do. I just need to sneak in, grab Athens, um, and then I'll probably annex it. Um, to get the Biz vassal straight away, instead of Athens as a vassal. There's no point having Athens as a vassal when you can have Biz as a vassal. 
I kind of feel like I, I want to have a beer though. I don't know. This is going to probably be an alcoholic stream. <laughs> Not an alcoholic stream, but I feel like having alcohol. I don't know. Um, probably need to stand over here to see what he's doing. Maybe if I just do this. Am I paying for my ships? No. Oh, wait. Um, do I wait for the prosperity first? Because this will be... It's five minutes, right? Five years? Yeah, so I need to do this now. I should do this now. I should just dev... Um, roads real quick. Twice. In production. Get that done. Um, because then I can summon a DS in, uh, what's it called? November. Can you not have this many troops, please? Holy heck. Have you had a drink in clear stream? I've drunk alcohol on stream plenty of times. It looks like he's on his way. He's either going for Albania or Biz. If he stops here, then he's going for biz. He's going for biz. Okay, we do not have much time then. Do not have much time. Yep, he's gonna 100% go for them. Okay, land maneuver. That's pretty good. We do need high maneuver. Yeah, he's going for them. Um, let's repair those lands. We can summon a new deer and seize land. Uh, tax and roads, manpower and roads, production and roads. We'll probably go manpower. Because I don't need Miltech. This is the one time you don't need Miltech. But we can also take the tech first. And then do that. But we'll seize land first as well. Yeah. And then we can potentially also sell land for 56 ducats, which is not a lot. Um, how do you want ships? I do not have many ships queued. I'm for a Blitzkrieg. We just have to wait for this declaration. And then we just need to make sure we get to Athens. That's the main thing. There's our truce with the Memlocks. Is raiding 10 years or 5? It's 10. So let's very quickly just raid um, these guys for money. Because I, I desperately need money. Oh, I can also take burger loans, actually. Wait, where's he moved? Is he not going for the biz? Renaissance spawned, so we can start pushing for it. Okay, we've got that done. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm scared. Okay, well he's fighting rebels, you would think he would go for him. He has tech advantage. We could go for the Inno. I think getting Renaissance is probably more important. I think. I'm gonna make a 
save because I'm I'm not too sure. I haven't played this game properly, like seriously, in a very long time, so I don't remember what my priorities are right now. Um. So let's quickly uh save, and then I think it's this one, right? Wait, three thirty p.m. Where's my? Oh, it's this one. Really good air. And then I go to screenshots. And then... Actually, wait. No, 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 no. I need to go to... Can I rename a save I'm already using? Probably not. Um, check. Point one. Control save. Check point two. There we go. Let's just do that. Because he's surely gonna attack. I mean, the fucking Byzantines might attack. Oh! Wait. Huh? What was that? Did he just threaten war? What? I think AI Biz just threatened Warren. I mean, AI Ottomans just threatened Warren Biz? Or sold a province? Um. Ottomans demanded and received the province with threat and war. <laughs> okay, that gives me five more minutes. I'm um, five more years to build up a power base. Unless Venice attacks him. Or Genoa, I guess. I mean, that, has, that actually kind of helps. That does kind of help me, because now I can build up a power base. Um, and I don't need to worry about, um, tacking up or anything like that. And it might be cheaper for me to just... I think it might be cheaper for me to just, like, you know... I could maybe go for, um... Radical reforms, perhaps. Between 5 and 11 pip, 13 pips. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, Provence is dying. Anything weird happened yet? Uh, doesn't look weird. Okay, Ottomans went for Kendall. This is bizarre. Utterly, utterly bizarre. Uh, we'll take the prestige, please. Uh, oh, do I want to wait for this? Prosperity. This is bizarre. A hundred days. With four in him. We do have neighbor bonus. How many days away is August from the end of the year? September, October, November, December. That's more than 100 days. Sweden is popping off. Holy heck. Yeah. Might be worth. It does mean my... Uh, deving for renaissance will take longer. How long have I got? Nine days. Ah, fuck it. Kill them. It stops them from attacking me. Here's CB Sweden. Yeah.
And then I have to dab twice. The only problem is that the Ottomans will get stronger the longer we wait. There's also the possibility that Biz attacks me. Oh no, I'm guaranteed by Venice. He won't do that. As long as Venice likes me, which he does. And before I attack him, which is actually a good timeline because he's only allied Silly and his trade league is only Silly and Naxos. Um, so that's pretty good for us. How many fucking ships do you have? 23. This honestly might be my best start. That I've, like, in terms of luck. How long would it take them to conquer me? Uh, they probably wouldn't end up over here. Wait, Burgundy just declared war on Bourbon, eh? Wasn't that call in France? <laughs> what? Why did he declare war on the, um, Appanage, not France? What? Okay, France is in trouble. I think. Why did he do that? Why for that? Charles? Oh, he's a bold fighter by default, isn't he? I forgot about that. Okay, well, we can get the inno again. Honestly, it might be worth it. This is so greedy of me. This is so, so greedy of me. It slows down my renaissance massively, but... It's, it is what it is. 30% on the prosperity. France will pull through? Probably. He has um, quite a lot of allies. Well, Switzerland is there. And Switzerland will always just punch way above its weight. Way above its weight. Uh, I think I side with the nobles, right? I oh, know. Uh, bourgeoisie versus clergy. Let's side with the clergy. Yeah, because then we get um, papal influence. I can then press. Yep. Give me a thingy, alas. I'll just have more papal influence, please. And then eventually I can spend it because he'll give me a cardinal. Do you need to have a certain amount of dev to get a cardinal? I forget. I forget how it works. Uh, how long do we have on this? Uh, 54. I'm gonna go ahead and... Go for the... Mill clicks now. That puts me at 15 dev, that finishes the mission. I then expand infrastructure. Just have Catholic clergy live in a monastery and improvised life, giving away their earthly wealth. That's historically accurate. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Very, very historically accurate. You can sell titles. I could. I could game. I could do that. Anyway, I. There's a. Uh, Does expanding infrastructure affect prosperity growth? I don't think it does, does it? No, Ottomans are just going insane without attacking the Byzantines, which is weird. This is really weird. Oh, province dev is part of the formula. Okay, makes sense. Hopefully it's 15. I doubt it is, but I, I hope so. How are we doing on this? Because we do want to have dev for renaissance because having a higher dev roads means I get ships faster. 
Who else is he at war with? Just Caraman. Wait, Caraman had no air allies? Betrayed by Sheravan. SMH. UQ attacking Georgia? Yep. Wait, no? Oh, QQ, not um, AQ. Uh, Castillo attacking Granada? There we go. Hmm. Hmm. The currently considered cardinals and their chance of gain of the yearly cardinal can be seen in the tooltip of the active cardinals ribbon in the paper seat interface. Really? Didn't know that. Um, we probably need to go for the mission on the high seas. Yes, we definitely need to do that straight away. Um, it just gives us the most bang for our buck right now. Absolutely. We absolutely need that because, uh, force limit. Very expensive. Also, I should be able to take this. I don't have an admiral yet. We can get the free one? No, we can't. 35 loyalty on the bourgeoisie. Shit. More like ship. Ayo. Oh, we should um, maybe go for the burger loans. Maybe? I'm not building anything at the moment, aside from the ships I'm already building, though, so I don't necessarily need to. Um. Marines, zero out of zero. I think if I unpause and get a month tick, it'll go to zero out of one. Uh, he is probably a heretic, yes. Nope, still zero out of zero. Didn't realize you could have a um, special forces with zero out of zero. Um, I'm looking at it. The papacy. Oh, cardinals and uh, spread institutions. Well, I don't have one, so never mind. The chance of gaining the yearly cardinal can be seen in the tooltip in the active cardinals room. Active cardinals room. Papacy interface. Is that a map mode? Is that a map mode? Villages? No? Ragusa has one. How do I, how do I see it? If Athens declares independence, couldn't Cleo try eating them? Yes, but uh, they are very loyal. No, they're not. Never mind. 77. Yeah, they could try, but I don't think they will. It's um, 6k versus... Papacy interface. You mean this? Where is it? Where's my chance of becoming a... Getting one? Is my name in this list? I don't see my name. Yeah, I'm not here. Eh? How do I how do I see where my chance? Venice might support it? But then I have to fight Venice. Which I don't really want to do. <laughs> Any goals for this run? World conquest. Or attempt to. Um, does anyone see it? If we wait a little bit, this will go up. But I think I need to dev first. I think I just need to turn roads into a metropolis. Where it says active cardinals. Oh, I've never hovered over this before. <laughs> it's 
Stockholm has the highest. Stockholm has 14 dev. I have more dev than that. I've literally never hovered over that before. Hi, Venice. Would you like to offer me knowledge sharing? What? You're guaranteeing me. I'm a little friend. Oh, I can't join his trade league anymore. Big underscore blue underscore berry cheered dex 100. Total dev. Oh, but I have 100% religious unity. Well. I really don't want to spend all my admin. And I don't want to spend my dip. I can try waiting. 15, 18 if I wait. Oh. Wait, there might be someone else that can sell it though. No, it, it has to be Venice because they're the only ones. Or Venice or Genoa, but Genoa doesn't like me. What is this track? This is ridiculous. Uh, holy heck, old white woman moment. I just never hovered over that. I could sink my points to make myself strong. If I do that, then I can get better mercs. Speaking of which, do I have anything? No, I have literally three options. 150 is the threshold for really good max. Uh, does this affect ship building? Uh, naval force limit. Local great project. Is it this that affects local sh No, this is dip. Dip affects local shipbuilding time. Uh... Please go up, Mr. Prosperity. How long have I got? 55. You could go for, um, Albania. The only problem is if Athens dies, right? He's 54. Is it just if the first ruler dies, then they get integrated? This is what Mehmed listened to. He's currently chilling in his holiday home. That's not him, never mind. He's still alive? This is a risk. Spending on my dip now is bad. But I think I have to. Just so I can have a bigger fleet. I can expand infrastructure again. Which means my ships are built in half us. 219 days for galleys. Pretty good. Do I have to redo the build times? I forget. Or does it manually update? Does it manually update? I think it does, right?
You would assume so. The EU4 soundtrack is very good. Um, now that we have 30 dev, I could probably try and go for a... Um, what's it called? We can get the Admiral now to finish that mission. We've got a pretty bad one. Oh, yeah, let's check. Are you building in 219 days? Uh... It's finishing in January 1456, so that's not happening then. Um... That is the wrong speed. Patoxy right? just resubscribed for 10 it's months. It's March oh, hey, 1454. That's not 219 days. Yeah, this is wrong. Which means that is also wrong. Oh, fuck. I have to redo everything then. I think 30 dev and roads might be fine. Because then that gets me, um... This. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for 10 months of support. Thank you very, very much. Athens will get inherited if they're non-hereditary pranoia, otherwise they get a new ruler. Is a hereditary pranoia. 90% loyalty. Disloyalty, I should say. I didn't get any better... Guys, never mind. Is it 50? Yeah. I made a lot of mistakes in my first attempt at this. A lot of mistakes. Biz is only tech 3 in mill. And his mill is shrinking in size. And it looks like he's just waiting for Biz. Total army size, 75% of force limit. Build a stock exchange. It's expensive, but I can do that. Or oh, can I? Can you build something whilst you're... Building boats? Can you build buildings whilst you're building boats? Can you do both at the same time? Yeah, you can. Uh, it's expensive, but now I can sell for Crownland, which means my loans from the burger should also be a lot better. Um, should. Emphasis on should. Very slow start. Very, very slow start. The fact that ship build up time, like ship build time, doesn't update when you get better ship building time is kind of stupid. Hello, Tick Tick. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Elsie's land. Celsius? Or just CSCs? Uh, we did not have the burgers on side. Never mind. Holy. I think I picked that one. Uh, you have not conquered Asia Minor yet. It is only 1455. And I'm playing on very hard again. I'm finally back in the, the big leagues. We're doing our little turtle play. Oh wait, speaking of which, that means we can raid. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Shit pill time? What do you mean? What does that mean? I really hope they don't go to war. Their truce is March. Oh, it's March. You went for Albania. Okay. Albania is guaranteed by... 
Venice, it looks like Serbia got rid of their guarantee, which is not ideal. That's really unfortunate for me. I kinda need him to go for Venice, uh, for his. It also means the Venetian fleet's gonna die. Which is not ideal either. What the fuck? Thank you for the raid, Tick Tick. How is your stream? Wait, did I not do the other shadow or did it not work? S O Tick. Tick. What was your stream? I didn't do it. Okay. How is World of Warships? Did you win the World of Warships? Um. For prestige and summon the Diet, which means we can see his land in three month ticks. Number of allies at least two. That's probably not happening. That's not happening either. Um, I don't really want to dev Athens or Rhodes rather. Can I even get allies? No. I can support the independence of Geneva for some reason. Are they in supported by anyone else? Austria. I mean, if the war happens, I could potentially ally Austria. Potentially. Wait, what? The starting Doge is still alive and he's 82 years old. That is quite impressive. Uh, it wants me to get 15% trade in the Constantinople node. I'll just go for the dev because that's easier for me to guarantee. Old guy. Yeah. Very old. I could sell seeds. We've almost got Renaissance. And then prosperity is at sixty six percent, sixty seven percent. The fact that it's 75% with a, um, what is it, 456? 546? Pretty ridiculous. I should sleep now, then you can wake up with the Warhammer patch. Nice. I hope you have a nice time with it. I probably will have to wait until tomorrow. Um, uh, we can embrace Renaissance, maybe we can sell it to someone. Uh, nope, no one wants it. Nobody wants my knowledge. This is so sad. Okay, we can sell seeds. And then if we actually if we dev twice, I'll get to twenty percent crown land and I can finish my mission straight away. Uh expensive, but Oh, because I took the edict off. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, well, Ottoman should be in the war against Venice for a while. Emphasis on should. Is he still guaranteed by Ottomans? He is. Okay, that's really bad for us. Really, really bad. I might actually have to fight Venice first. Might have to fight Venice first. If his navy sinks, we have to fight Venice. Take the islands. And then, um... Then we go for Athens. Venice the Menace. 
Can we release anyone from there? Probably not. You can exploit dev for 92 ducats. Like, we're making a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Because our navy is tiny. It really should be a lot bigger by now, but I kind of fucked up. Forsen. I've never seen Forsen in my life. I've never watched a Forsen stream. I have no idea what he's like. I think he's European? I think. Is he? Is he European, guys? He is, right? Does construction cost affect boats? Is he gay or European? The answer is always both. Speaking from experience. Does he have access? Oh, yeah, Ottomans has access all the way to Venice. Okay. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're enjoying the stream. This is scary. What a weird timeline this is. Wait, what? That is only half his army. Oh shit, wait, that's bad. That's really bad. I have to island trap him. I can't island trap him if he owns the islands. Actually, I can. Oh, it's gonna be awkward. Who's that? It's gonna be super duper awkward if that happens. Why is he committing so much of his army there? It does mean I don't have to fight Venice, at least. Let's cut out on fighting Venice. But it also means I have less um, ships to fight. Where the hell is his army? I have, I have no idea what is happening right now. This is such a strange timeline. Hello, how's it going? It's going okay. Um, it's going okay, I think. I think the heavy might have been a trap. I think taking the free heavy for half cost was probably a trap. Um, and I should have just spammed galleys, because I now only have 17 ships. And I have to beat 23 plus 9, so 32. And then also, I also have to beat... 46 later. Um, which I can theoretically do if my naval force limit gets above 20. I can get the edict. Um, no one wants my knowledge sharing, sadly. And I need to the problem is, I'm not going to be able to get access on Ottoman territory. That's a pretty big blow. Because now I can't um, land onto Negroponte, then go straight into Athens. Um... Why does Forsen have an emote of Gora? I don't know. It feels like a lot of people just straight up have like copyright infringing emotes on Twitch. Um, but like no one cares. If you're supposed to say, like when you submit emotes, it's like you have to, it says, do you promise that you own this emote? And same with your like sub badges and everything. And I guess no one cares. Pack five. 
I think I might have fucked this. Oh, the force in the mirror is a picture of her. Oh. What? Okay, our ship fleet. Oh, we could fight for Naxos. I mean, not Naxos. We could fight for um, Crete. Oh, he allied Naples at some point. That sucks. That really sucks. I was probably supposed to- I mean, I could land on Constantinople. His entire army is here. If my navy beats his navy, I can land on Constantinople. But that's a big ask. My naval force limit is almost big enough. But that would require me to dev. Dip. To get the extra force limit, I think. Right? Must be 7 TV. Oh yeah, well 7 TV is a lawless land. It is a lawless land where no one really seems to moderate it. And it, like, people just have insane emote names there and it's just an absolute Free for all. Um, how am I going to snipe Athens? I don't know. I think I have to dev. I think letting the game give me more time was a mistake. Oh, no, there we go. We have the mission. I, I need one more. I need one more um, force limit. Is there a way to see the exact force limit? Because it says 19, but if I dev, it goes up by 0.1. So, like, that doesn't help me at all. Because I don't know what... Point one death mode? It's like Is there a way to maybe maybe this ship force limit? Naval force limit, is that a N Naval M N nah Naval force limit. No, that's just modifier. Is it called debug mode? I am playing Iron Man, so I can't check. I'm not cheating at the moment. Oh, he got Corfu as well. Yeah, Venice is fucked. They're down to 30 ships. Iberian Wedding, go with a local noble instead. Okay. Good. Uh, purge them. Not cheating at the moment. I only use um, debug mode to test stuff. It's only to test stuff. Also, I just realized the mammoths are stronger in the patch as well. Probably going to be very painful to beat. I have this, please. Eight? How is this? Oh, I'm just losing the dice rolls here. This. I have lost so many dice rolls on the um, prosperity growth. This is nuts. It's 75%. I just keep losing over and over and over again. What a joke. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh. Yeah, this isn't very exciting, huh, is it? Just to see if you're wasting time. I 
I wish there was a way to see it precisely. I'll go for it. Unless this affects naval force limit? It does. They, they, all of them do. Okay, well, if all of them d do that, then um, it's not as bad. Because then I can just dev the stuff that I don't need, which is mostly mill. Hoping for this to be done by now. We have a really strong economy at the moment. OPMs usually have a not very exciting start, though. That's true. Um, that is very true. Venice is probably. I wonder if he'll go all the way or he'll peace out. He's only lost 23%, so he should be pretty keen. Oh god, Georgia. Georgia is gone. England just going wild on the Irish. Hate to see it. Ninety-six percent. Ninety-seven, please. Prosperity is really strong. Um, very, very good. Very, very good. Local goods produced twenty-five percent. Very strong. Ninety-eight. I think if I just stare at it, it'll it'll keep going up. It's more like the Ottomans are going to go all the way, not the Venetians. Come on, please be nice. 99? There we go, one more. And then I get the dev cost reduction. And then, is there anything else that I could go for? I guess trade. There we go. Uh, I still don't have- oh! Get one of these. You can get it after a really good start. Oda has a fun start. Oh, right. Well, they, I mean, that's like you're an OPM, but it's Ambanar. Right? It's a little bit different. Um. that affect it? Did that affect it? No. Did that affect it? No. So that's three. I think I have to stay ahead on dip. Actually no, I can- I'm, I'm really far ahead on dip compared to tech. This is a hundred points though. We need to get to 20. That's five presses. That's six presses. Eight. Really? Okay. I guess I was at 19 exactly. Nine? It was not. I was at... I was at 19.1 force limit. If you wanted to know. Okay, so now I have Letter of Mark, which gives me fleet maneuvement. Chance to capture enemy ships. Ship disengage chance. Which is... Not that good. I would normally be like, yeah, sure, I'll get the special one, but I really need galley combat ability. That's the key to winning. With this. Um... How dead is Venice? 
Well, the entire Ottoman fleet is there. Which could be funny if it sank. Now we just need a very good admiral, I guess. Which we're not going to really get anytime soon. We should be able to beat his fleet, though. I have a lot of um, alleys. And I think at this point we just need to start going for Athens by ourselves. Um, which is a little scary. Am I still building ships? Yes. Just the one left. Uh, owner of Malta, opinion 150. I can try and snipe Malta from Aragon. Okay, conquest Cassus Belly. Okay, he took. I mean, we could trap him. We could potentially trap him. It's a lot of guys. We could go for the island trap on the Ottomans instead. But 100% he goes for biz now. We have a lot of places to island trap him. Can I get access? No, of course not. He could also just attack us. That is 100% an option, because uh, Venice probably won't want to defend us. Um, probably. Surprised he didn't get this. Would have been nice if he broke the alliance. Uh, I was going to see if you could play as Herjur Sultanate against the Mongols in this game, but I remember the starting date is a little bit off. Yes, you're a little bit off on that starting date. Um, we can sell seas now that we're over 20 crown land. Uh, sure, we can go for the nobility one, which is improved relations with Serbia. Uh, now. He's clearing out his- wait, what the hell? He's got a 2-3-1 and no air. What? Has he got decadence or something? Eh? Why does he have a- Dog shit ruler. What? Am I making ships still? I'm not. Oh yeah, if I had a strong economy, I should have gone for thing. Oh look, there's a level one missionary. Finally, I definitely need that. Um, I need a naval advisor. A hundred percent. Because he's gonna attack. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't have subjects. And I only have a capital. No, no, I'm an OPM, so I could have told to this. Really? Where are you going? What are you doing? Ottomans, please. Should I just attack the Ottomans? I feel like maybe that's what we do. And then I ask for access through Athens. No, never mind. Like, it might be that the Ottomans are the, big, the easier target at the moment. Um, Celsius. Because yeah, I don't have autonomy at the moment. I only have one province. It doesn't matter. I 
It's the Pearl of the Mediterranean. It is probably the biggest city in the world at the moment. 40 dev. Uh, we can hold off on teching up because it can get it'll get cheaper. But you have to wait a long time for it to get cheaper. Ottomans, please do something. Ottomans, and it still produces fish. Yeah, not the best province to dev in terms of the goods produced, but it is all I have. Um, and then I can just, you know, I can exploit it for a lot of resources. Like 2k manpower when I have 14k total. Be good. Ottomans, please do something. Please? You still haven't attacked the biz. What is happening? There we go. We've got our naval guy. I think at this point, maybe I just save... Make a checkpoint attack him somehow, maybe land into Otto, because presumably this might work. Because what's going to happen, right, is Serbia is no longer guaranteed by Otto. Okay. So Serbia might not get access. So that means I won't be able to get access to the islands instead. Never mind. Oh wait, I can raid? Oh, because it used to be Catholic. I can raid the Mamluks as well. Really is a better admiral. Most broken location for a base in Kenshi. Nice. I was thinking maybe we play Kenshi in a little bit. If we make no progress on this. Because uh, we're not making much progress. If at all. They're just paralyzed. I don't know. Okay, we can stop improving with Serbia. Faceting in Liège. What? Like, why are they not attacking each other? Why is the Ottomans just like, you know what? I have 53k. Who am I going to attack? Not the Byzantines. You know who I should attack? Rose. I'll just, uh, oh wait, what is his admiral? Oh, it's a 5-1, that's really nasty. That is really nasty. This doesn't affect me, does it? It actually makes my ships more expensive. West of the hive, uh, south of the western hive capital. That's a spoiler. No raids, no tax bench, natural defenses. Hive can still visit as long as you have the base set to public. Skeleton and hive can live there. Okay, well I haven't tried any of the star aside from the one that I made. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, there's the independence war. Only Siena supported their independence. Wait. What? Oh no, there we go. I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, uh, Venice, uh, He's either going for Epirus or Athens. 
So I'm going to maybe just declare myself here. And then I just have to... I just have to somehow beat him to Athens? I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this. Really not sure how I'm going to do this. It's either that or I go for him. None of his allies have coastlines. It's just my navy against his. And I have very high combat ability. No big things. Nice. He went for Epirus? So he's going for Ragusa. What the fuck is happening? I think at some point, maybe I just rush for Tech 6, get better boats. Right? Is it Tech 6? I have no idea. Has anyone experienced this? Just Biz being left alone by the AI of Ottomans? Like he has no reason to be scared of him. He has three times his army. Uh, France is now declaring on Provence again. What? Uh, Burgundy lost, by the way. Um, they lost two provinces to France. They're going to go for them eventually. Which I guess just makes me build up stronger, but they also get stronger, so... It just kind of slows down my start at the moment. I feel like I had done more. First point. And normally this is a start... It Normally it is an exciting start when you finally get into the off... Like, the actual wars. Once you have your power base. But nothing is happening. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep my navy out here. Nothing else to do. Uh... raid anything. I could land on Constantinople. <laughs> Perhaps. The only problem is if he gets access, which could be funny, sniping Constantinople. How did the tech cost go up? I don't understand. How is this still 500? That's a weird thing. Maybe I should build a flagship. At this point, it might be worth building a flagship. Um, so I want to get... Fleet engagement with... Fleet morale flagship cannons, probably? Who wants to be heavy ship too? Does anyone want to be the flagship? The pepperoni. Very expensive. How much my navel morale? 2.42. A 
Osman's actually has more, which is scary. <sighs> he has more morale. He has a better admiral. I will have much better galley combat ability. Or should. Emphasis on should. Oh, well, we can wait another year. It should hopefully get cheaper in attack. Maybe bonus? Still cool. Maybe bonus still cool. Maybe bonus still cool. Oh. Okay, well, he pierced out. He didn't take Ragusa, which is a bit weird. But I thought he'd take it. Okay, we got another reform. Institution spread in true faith province, idea cost. Missionary strength, maximum absolutism, missionary cost. Advisor cost, that's pretty good. Average monarch lifespan. Oh wait, that's really good. The education event is really, really good. Um... Very, very useful. Will we ever get a Vicky 3 arc? Um, maybe? I don't know, I just don't really think that game is interesting. To... I know that's rich coming from me playing EU4 now in the most boring manner, but I don't know if that game is interesting for me to sh stream to you guys. Like, would you actually want to see that? Okay, we finally have it. Athens is preparing to clear war on Byzantium. Aragon's opinion of them is 1850. It is. It is 150. Why can't I take this? One of the following must be true. Oh, allied. Wait, really? Shit. Never mind. Well, if he declares war, supported by Genoa. Is that worse than fighting Biz in Serbia? I think that is. I think that is worse than fighting Biz in Serbia. Remember friending this earlier? That's not me talking about member friending. That's me talking about... I'm literally, okay, do you know what my experience with uh, Victoria 3 was? I looked at the economic graph for my country, it went down, I went, oh no, I pressed some buttons, it went back up, I said, oh yes. I don't know how the gameplay works. I don't know how to play that game, I don't know how to make it interesting, I don't know how to do anything in that game. Do you dislike the Vicky 3 interest group shenanigans? I don't know what any of that means. I think I have to attack. You have no diplomats to send. Is he suddenly loyal? If I attack him whilst he's his subject, does he stay in the war if he declares independence? Not knowing a game has never stopped you before. That's true. I'm hoping Serbia gets full occupied. I'm gonna go for it. Um, save games. Uh, date modified. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, I personally don't know if Vicky is actually that interesting to watch. That's all. Like, I know this is probably not that interesting to some people. People probably think this stream is fucking paint drying, right? But at least I know what I'm doing, and I know I can kind of make it interesting to people. Oh, he is going for... this. I don't know. 
You have no idea why people like watching you for. I'm not going to get there before he does. And if I land on Athens first without reinforcements, I'm not going to get it. Unless he walks straight for the guy, which he might. He arrives on Athens on the 4th. I arrive in July. Please go for the kill. Please go for the kill. Please don't sit on Athens. Thank you. I just realized I don't have an admiral. I don't have a general. Where's Slack like him? He should do. He has a morale on him. He's not going to stack weapon. Please don't flee into Athens. Oh, I didn't think this one through. Well, um, we have to somehow uh, one hit him when we're landing. Are we going to... No, he's going to get the month tick. Oh, I'm dead. We're saved. <laughs> Did you explain interest groups? No, because I didn't read it. I'm sorry. It's just okay. Yeah, interest groups. Right. I save. Thank you. Thank you, Ottomans. Well, I just need the Ottomans to sit on this with me. And then maybe I can piece out Serbia straight away. I really don't want to have to fight Serbia. This is bullshit. Yep, I got saved by the Ottomans as the knights. Very nice. Well, that's pretty useful. Um, siege ability. I need to watch this really carefully so I can piece him out when he gets fully occupied. Um,. Yeah, okay, so interest groups are just factions in your country, right? I just don't know if that's interesting. Like, even more so than map painting, it's graph look it's it's graph watching, right? I don't know how to make that interesting. Um Like maybe you guys have some idea, but like I can't Like, if I look at the gameplay of Wiki 3 and I'm like, I don't think this is interesting, I'm not going to necessarily think that you guys are going to think it's interesting either, that's all. It's completely my personal preference. If we liked interesting streams, you wouldn't be here. That's true. Like, I don't know if this stream has been very interesting. I think I have to tech up. They should add U4 or Hoi 4 warfare to Vicky 3 to make it fun. The instantly teleporting battlefields was such a strange system. I don't I didn't get that. Apparently they fixed it. But I'm I don't know for certain. I think I fixed it. It's fine. It's so expensive. I can wait maybe another year. Oh, we could breach. I don't know why the Ottomans are helping me here. They, they're very, very nice. They were warned they didn't listen. Even Johan wouldn't have fucked it up like this. Are you sure? It's a good thing you haven't played Vicky 3. We just have subway surfers in the corner. That's true. That is true. Oh, fuck. Shit. Um, who wants to be an admiral?
Um, and we're not nice. Don't know if that's better. Maybe he just full claws him, like fully eats him. Because he could have co-belligerented him. Do you reckon the AI gets it on 14? Didn't do the right redeem, did he? Sorry. I just saw the redeem go through and I missed it. Also, his throwball's not working. Wait. Worshipper loves you, baby girl. Is a first time chatter. Did you get banned? Wait, you've been following since last week. What? Okay, throwables aren't working. Classic throwables. One sec. Ah, yes, of course. It's a throwable. Which, there you go. There's your throwables. Um, Psycho Banana. That's not good. Ah, oh, Maneuver is useful. Oh my god, Byzantine pretender rebels are coming? Okay, thank fuck. Okay, we got the Siege of Athens. I kind of want to keep my generals alive. I just use the interaction. When's my next state edict? When can I see his land? 65? I don't want to do that though. Um, you made a new account because you got a new iPhone, lol. Why don't you just log on your old account? Angled strength. Please be fast. That's not fast. Shocking. Are you faster than him? Nope. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. 71 ships. Oh, never mind. We got the... Get the land. Did I capture ships then? Oh, I do. Pretender rebels are coming for me. Oh shit. Also, do you want to kill them for me? Is they're going to go into Athens and then I'm fucked. Wipe them though. I just got so much war score from that. Oh fuck, Serbia. Uh, Serbia. Serbia. You don't want white piece, you are fully occupied. You are smoking something. I could just go in and out, yeah? In and out, just get back fired. farm as much as I can. I don't think there's any point in me getting anything else. Is there any more point in me taking any more land? I don't think there is. Clear start new game? Yeah. When are they arriving? Tomorrow, okay. We have to peace out. This triples our land size. I 
I think we just take Corrin. Because he's 100% dead after this. Oh, wait. If I take this, then I'm going to not be black flagged and the rebels will walk through and then kill my guy. So he's going to die regardless. It just means if I take my land off. I take more if I don't take money. X job tipped two dollars. Why don't you add piss bulb halo and try getting canonized as a tuba? What? Uh, what? I could take all of it. I mean, that might be worth it. I don't know what a piss bulb halo is. Ah! Then I got a foothold in Greece, which gives me permanent claims everywhere. Please don't. Come here. Go home. Oh, he's dead. Okay. What do I do with the Byzantine pretender rebels? What do I do with the Byzantine pretender rebels? I just realized if I release a fourth state province, he's going to be stronger than me and he'll be disloyal. Uh... Dumb of me. I could release IKEA then Biz, I guess. Or Maria then Biz. That's a future you problems? Problems? It is. It is indeed. Regardless, I have to release something. If you release the Byzantines, the pretenders take it? I think they would, right? Uh. Anyway. Uh... I have to do something. I'm just gonna save. And we'll see how disloyal he is. Thank you, X Job. X Job tipped two dollars. Piss bulb halo. Oh, Noun, the two dimensional halo on classical depictions of saints. Piss bulb halo. You know, if you say it piss bulb halo, it doesn't help. Anyways, so these gonna. Win. Just improve relations, and then we need to make sure we. S oh no, he's super loyal already. Okay, we enable scootage. Uh, we pick up our boys. Grab him. Bring him over here. And then we fight the fucking Ottomans. We fight the Ottomans. That's this. This is it. We declare war. We reconquest for Constantinople. Which has 21 dead. <laughs> he hasn't pressed his buttons yet. Nah, I'd win. It's a halo made out of bulb, made out of piss. Speaking of piss, Lottie hasn't wanted to go to the toilet for a while. She'll probably make sure she does. Um... I'm gonna just go ahead and tech up. Oh, it's tech 7 for better ships. Or is it tech 8? It's tech 7.
Um... Where's this capital? I still only have fucking barely any mercs. I might have to build my own army. Which is not ideal. We could fight Venice. We have mill access rhythm still. We don't need that anymore. This is capital. Oh, Maria. So he should go for Maria, not me, right? I can always pick up and go for him. Alternatively, we... Is this the flagship? It is the flagship. Thank you, Exxon. Knight Vol Warden just resubscribed for, for six months. Clio I sip. Thank you, Knight Vol Warden. Thank you for six months of support as well. I think we do, we just go on him, right? I think this is the time. We have to press the advantage that we just got. Um. I'm surprised he's loyal. That's really surprising. But he's. Well, I guess I. You have more dev than him. Um, I do have more dev than him. And then we just reconquest for probably just Constantinople and then we win. Um, those are six galleys over there. Oh wait, we do need to have men there. Fendit Charm so just resubscribed for three us. months. Clio Ice Quibby. That is true. We need to have a guy over here so he actually tries to chase us down. More debts equals more friendship. That is true. Thank you, Fendi Charm. Thank you for the hype train, guys. Oh, it's close. Never mind. I'm dumb as fuck. When is this flagship built? Because that would be massive. If we can somehow wait until September, that would be really good. But technically by release- yeah, he's coming for me. Or is he coming here because there's the vast- the, um, the rebels? He's coming for me. Because technically, he is an amateurist with the biz. Oh fuck, okay. Um, he lives on the 27th. If we can attack on the 28th, I'm gonna just quickly grab that um, save. There's my backup. Oh, Serbi is an OPM. Okay. I'm hoping he just doesn't attack us until that guy. Oh god, there's another fleet. Fuck off. Why do you have so many fleets? Okay, now we go. Let me just hope this guy is fast enough. If not, we'll spam generals and whatnot. Reconquest, Constantinople. Here we go. Me versus the world. The music is just um, in-game. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dis disparity in military strength. 62? 84k versus 2k. I just need to beat him there. And then we press this. He is blockading my capital, which is not ideal. Because my flagship's just going to be there, not doing anything. 
Okay, we have to win this naval battle. We have equal morale. I should out um, combat ability him. We're gonna take this nice and slow. He has three heavies. I have one heavy. His ship should be fairly damaged because I don't know if he ever repaired them. He rolled a seven, we rolled a three. Table set is excommunicated Venice. Right. Is there anything that helps me with this? Not really. It's morale of armies, not morale of navies. I'm rolling a 7, really sucks. Okay, we rolled an 8, he rolled a 1. Okay, we're sinking his ships. This is good. We're winning. We're running really, really hard. None of our ships are sinking. He's lost, uh... Three ships? He's losing another. We aren't losing anyone. We rolled another six, he rolled a nine. Well, technically a ten. Oh. Okay, we sank another one. The morale disparity should be massive now. Everyone is holding steady. Hold! An eight to seven. We're not sinking any of his ships, but he has trade ships in the battle. Never mind, his heavies are uh, capitulating. One more good roll, we sunk another ship. One more good roll and we win this. Okay, we rolled a two to one. That's not good. But we are sinking heavies, and that's a massive impact. And we are winning. We are winning. He reinforced? He's a fucking idiot. Never reinforce naval battles, especially if you're losing. That means I sink more of his navy. Okay, we should be in the clear now. Oh, I do have trade ships on the front line. I guess my heavy um, disengaged. Okay. There we go. And that, ladies and germs, is how you beat the Ottomans as the knights in a 1v1 naval battle. Not even favorable rolls, like we didn't get many massive rolls. I think our highest roll was an 8. And we didn't lose a single ship. We are literally praying and crushing them. G fucking G. With the power of God and anime on our side, we have won. And we captured six extra ships, including a heavy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. And the best part is we can just put our fleet into Athens to repair. And then we stay blockading and we walk into a thingy. One sec, I have dog aggro. One sec. Ugh. Unfortunate timing. One sec.
Oh, you guys are having fun throwing stuff at me? I see. Guys, it's beer o'clock. That victory has inspired alcohol. We shall drink them under the table. Oh, wait, I'm fighting Muslims. I just realized they're not going to drink alcohol, are they? <laughs> Never mind. Um, technically, that counts as drinking them under the table. Sorry. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Yeah, I was just playing with Lottie. Hello. Right. Sorry, that was very... <laughs> very anticlimactic. I won a really cool battle and then I had to... <laughs> go get some... Oh, wait. His navy retreated there. Uh, we should probably let our navy repair first. Because... You know what we could do? It might be good to press the advantage. None of my ships are too fucked, aside from like the super duper damaged ones. And it will take us time to hit them. Um, so we'll get rid of the super damaged ones, which are probably the ones we captured. Yeah, those would be the ones we captured of those ones. Everything else is relatively healthy. Oh, we have our agenda. Tax and roads, manpower and roads, uh, production and roads. It can't be that. We can't do that. Um, I think it has to be manpower. It's not ideal. Fucking already 40 dev. Um, so we'll get the month tick on the decent ships. We need to build a shipyard in Athens. Okay. And then we bring these ships back out. Wait, how long do we have? 18 days? Okay, yeah, there will be a naval battle. My ship should be in a lot better state than his. He only has two heavies? He has one galley. Okay, it's just, it's just transports. I didn't realize. Yeah, okay, he's fucked. All he has is transports. And we sink him. Instantly um, on red. Easy. Easy clap. And we captured three more ships. Which probably don't need to have this many galleys. These are um, this many um, transports. But we can just have them repair. How many do we have? We have five there. And we have four here. So. Probably get rid of the, some of them. But now we just wait. Because he's going to bring his entire army over to here. Um, whilst I occupy this. And then I'm going to... Wait. We can wait till we scorch the earth. Hi, Dutch General. The Pope has called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Let's go! Also, the Ottomans are going to maybe kill my... Rebel subjects? I mean, subjects rebels? 
Words wrong. So next month tick, we get all the bonuses. Oh fuck, I am losing seven ducats a month. Never mind, I have to kill those ships. Having barks over force limit, no point. Not using them for money. Just save three ducats with that. Also, I have my flagship now. We have the pepperoni man, the flagship. Massive. Honestly, didn't even need him. Didn't even need him. So now we need to, uh... Now we just, uh, let him try and walk in. And we just have to wait. That's all we do. We just let the AI in come in and out. Because they're silly sausages. Here he comes. So that is how many out of how many? Do all of his friends in this war have access? Shurvan doesn't. So he might need to ask for access for him. So we can track him. I guess... I guess technically we don't need to worry about it. Unless he gets access later, which in, in which case I think I'll just... I'll ask for access for him. Now he can walk over. Because I don't want to, I don't want any nasty surprises if he gets access to the fuck. Also, he has no, doesn't have a fort in uh, Constantinople in its capital. Um, we probably want to build up a military just so um, Byzantium doesn't get disloyal. Are we winning? We are winning. First try, by the way. I just want to point out I did this first try. Yeah, I made some backups, but first try. I need to scorch this. 60k? That's the entire Ottoman army. Now we just have to wait for... The rest of them to get here. How many console commands? It's Iron Man. Three? Iron Man. Very hard difficulty. Very, very hard difficulty. Because if we, we have to keep moving him back and forth, or otherwise the AI isn't going to send um, units over. I think if we just wait here, the... Eventually the AI, like AQ and all that, will um, come over. Eventually. Cancel that. We can just get our transports to carry them over. I'm gonna say he still has access, but he technically doesn't. This guy is here. He's arriving on the 28th of um, January, so we can be a bit more precise with this. Right, 28th. Yeah. Because we scorch the land so it takes them half, uh, double the time to get across. So we just need to go out on the 27th. Oh, wait, no. We need to go out on the 19th. Which we need to do that now. Because the AI is being naughty and not obeying the laws. 
So this is uh, another 20k. Is that everything? Twelve K. Yep, that's twelve K. Dulcadia has eight. Yep, okay, so that's all of their forces. That is all of their forces. The only one we're waiting on is Shuravan. Shuravan has thirteen K. Cause once they're over here, they're just gonna stay here. I can do this, and he'll turn around, and he's on his way on the 17th. Unless anyone decides to go into um, Negroponte. Which, speaking of which, I should Scorch it. I do need to Scorch Negroponte. He's also going to eat massive attrition. Um, go back over there. Is that everyone? I'm building one more. I'm losing six ducats a moment. Hopefully, Shuravan is on his way. Should be. Should be on his way. Right? He has full pathing. Yeah, he definitely can run over here. So we just now need to wait. Bring these over. Have them merge. Just play with them a bit. As long as he doesn't go for this island. Fine. Where are you, Shuravan? Where are you? Come over here, Shuravan. Wait, are you already here? No. Of course not. Don't be silly. Hi, Cleo. How are you? I'm doing very well. First time beating the Ottomans. First try. Okay. I'm very, very happy. It took- it was a weird campaign, like, no one attacked- like, he threatened for the Bulgarian province? So it gave me a long time to build up my force, but I kept doubting myself. I kept doubting myself and... I wasn't sure if he was actually, like... what I was doing was enough. You know? Um... Lottie's going for the squeeze ball. You might hear some squeezes in the background. Where is Shiravan? I just need Shiravan to show up and then we're, we're good to go. But he's taking his sweet ass time. It would be nice if I could check. I can technically check. Maybe with a uh, this wait. See if I can find his um his friend. Like it's very possible Shuravan doesn't want to be here. Okay, we have to go out straight away. Come on, Shuravan. It is very expensive. 
Luckily, we can burn for almost 100 ducats. Um, which we might need to do at some point. We can also take burger loans, which that would be the first point of financial assistance. Taking the burger loans. Which, I don't know how big my loans are. 20 ducats. So that's another 100 ducats as well. So take the burger loans first, then um, sell the thing. Where the fuck is Shiravan? Does he just not want to uh, arrive? I guess I can check with QQ. Uh, we cannot cancel access whilst our enemies have forces inside their forces. So Shiravan is... Oh! Shiravan is at war with QQ. Um, okay, well that was a mistake to ask for access. Okay, well maybe we just go for, we go for it then. Um, next reset, we go, for... okay, no, we have to reset it again. Reset it again. Keep resetting. We need the um, all of the auto troops to walk in. Come on, wake up. Come on. Okay. He's being a little bit derpy. Being a little bit derpy. I need all of his troops to be in Athens. Let's see if we can last that long. Uh, yes, we can. All right, arriving on the 5th, arriving on the 31st, arriving on the 6th. So if we arrive on the 5th, his entire army will be on Athens. And then we close the gate, or we open the gate, and he should theoretically move as one blob. And then we open. He's locked. Close. No! Okay. We have to keep trying that. So we just need this stack to come along. Which it should start turning around soon. My poor Byzantine vassal is just eating attrition at the same time. Arriving on the 29th, arriving on the 25th. That's not ideal. The unit speeds are all fucked up. Um, so we have to go out on the 24th? What if the AI never overstacks? It's not about the AI overstacking, it's just they only have one target to attack, so they go with it their entire might, instead of like conserving men. Yeah, his armies are all fucked with move speeds, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, that is... We need the fast armies to be the ones over here. Basically. But unfortunately, he is uh, putting his slowest army over there.
Okay. The only problem is if Shervan somehow breaks through AQ, which I don't think he would, right? Or QQ, rather. Oh, he might actually. He might actually make it through. Because I think QQ is committing seppuku or something. Okay. Looks promising. Looks very promising. We just need this guy to also... No! You are an arsehole! Literally just the last stack needed to go to the right province. Bastard. Absolute bastard. Where are my galleys, actually? Oh no, we can leave the galleys there. Doesn't matter. Um... Come on. I suppose what we could have done is just waited for everything to go in. We just remake the army. But I'd rather not have to remake the army. Remaking the army is the safer choice. Um, well, we have to go anyway. Promising start. Come on. Fifth, ninth, twentieth, sixteenth, twentieth. We just need all of them to go into uh, Necroponte. I mean, Naxos. Come on. Arriving on the 13th. We might have to just sacrifice them, which is annoying. I'd rather not have to sacrifice them. Oh. I'd rather not have to sacrifice them. Where are you going? Ninth? Okay. 07 to Tangled String and the bravest men that ever fought for the, the mighty knights of Rose. 07s in chat, please. They have fought with exceptional bravery. Actually, wait. No, I can't because moving the ships over there will cancel the, ma the maneuver. I could try resetting it one more time, but I don't think it's going to work. I might just... I might just get it then. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm a genius. Okay. Uh I got it. Okay. Uh fourth, thirtieth, fourth, ninth, sixth. We just have to arrive in here on the twenty ninth. Right? Twenty ninth? And then we leave on the 10th. 
move off the out on the tank. And we can cross on the 10th. Oh wait, when are you arriving? 17th. Perfect. We've locked one. We've locked two. Actually, three. We've locked three. We've locked five. And by five, I mean 80,000 troops trapped in Negropond. Oh, Naxos. Easy fucking game. How's it going? Pretty well. Now we just conquer everything. Build that. Um, hire the merc. And now we go take the straight. And hope that uh, Shirovan doesn't get access through uh, Lith uh, Lithuania. And if we do, we have to fight him. We'll have to fight him if we do. Okay. Enjoy camping on that island, yeah. I know, right? They could probably, like, 80,000 people, they could form probably a, a line of people holding onto the ankles of the person next to them and form a land bridge made of people. They could probably do that. Um... I am going to be hemorrhaging a lot of money, so I'm going to go ahead and burn that province right now for another 100 ducats. And then now I'm going to take the burglar. Just so I'm a bit more, um, you know, I'm, I'm flush with cash and I don't have to worry about taking loans anytime soon. That's the wrong estate. Good job, Clea. Oh, also I have a subject so I can not get it because it's two subjects, not one. Uh, indebted to the bourgeoisie. Easy. What are the burger loans and why are you learning hamburgers? Uh, so the burgers refer to the um, merchant class, basically, in society. I have a year to s accept um, that, so we won't do that one just yet, but we can tech up an admin, perhaps. Do I have a siege general? We do have a navy, we could just barricade, um, bombard with the, um, dudes, like this. I do need more men. I wish I could get more men, I don't know. Um, blow it up. The only problem is, I will want to blow up Gallipoli. I think I can actually blow it up from this province, though. So, that should be okay. And then I just need to cancel access. And he should. Okay, he is losing, so I might be able to white piece him. Emphasis on might. <laughs> Um, take out, oh no, take out the other 1k stack. So we don't take any attrition. And then we can maybe, um, what is this? That is galley. We can go like this.
You did that. Make sure we can piece out Shiran. Shiravazam. Shiravan? That's the word. You need to watch that. So. No need. Did I take an idea? Oh, I did tech up my admin, didn't I? Um. I want to take we'll probably need something that can help us fight um because we are behind on mill big brain clear gives you the EP Probably need to do a mill idea, but we're already behind on mill tech. Um, that said, after this war, I don't need naval dominance. Aside from maybe Venice and Genoa, but my navy is pretty baller at the moment. So I could go a dip idea. And maybe go just diplomatic? Or court? Court might be good. I think genuinely court is a decent choice early. It has more power early. Because it gives you um, splendor and... Um, reform progress. It's either that or influence. Or diplo. Or espionage. What's court mercenary? Mercenary costs. What's court espionage? I mean, espionage mercenary? Not that good. I'm thinking espionage is pretty good early. But, I'm gonna have permanent claims on, like, most of the Mediterranean. So claiming entire areas isn't that important. The espion- the aggressive expansion is pretty good. As is the diplomat. As is the siege ability. As is the corruption. Yeah, I'll go espionage. I like the naval repair in Maritime. Oh, I'm so, I won't laugh. Maritime is... Espionage and Discovery means negative 40 AE. That's true. That said, I'm doing Reconquest first. This is a Reconquest war. Um... Okay, he is now a metropolis, by the way. I forgot I forgot to mention that um, Byzantium is a, a bishopric, because I released as a vassal instead of... I released when they were dead, not vassalized them. Uh, Come on, men. Take that province. 
Mom was like 80 years ago. That is true. Frozen? It's 1466. Like 50 years ago. Right? Not that much. I got some pretty godlike luck this uh this playthrough, which is quite nice. Come on, Shervin. I mean, I might just have to fight him. You know, is that the air corner? That is the air corner. Byzantium, please be stable. Lol, oxymoron. Stable Byzantium. Not ideal because I'm gonna maybe be Byzantium in a little bit. But maybe first Georgia? Maybe. Hello, Depth Slack. Protestants don't always spawn early. That is true. Sometimes it does spawn late. Um, we are at 45 reform desire, however, that's pretty high. I don't need my units sitting on attrition. That's stupid. Not stupid, I think. Why won't you die? Be sure then, please give up. It's gonna take a while. We also need this to eventually fall, like holy fuck. Come on. Look at them. How much attrition have they eaten? Uh, 37,000 so far. Quite a few deaths. Yes, please. Selenic? No. Please fall. I would like to be out of this war soon. Cause I'm actually losing war score right now. Uh, I am on the losing side at the moment. Does he have an army? Or did he die? No, he has an army. Where is he though? Asking for access for QQ was a mistake. It was a mistake, you know? Uh, we can dip tech for Inno in... First of the year. January 1st. Have you ever met a stable Bizaboo? I think the ones in my chat, I just realized I'm not spying on him. I think the ones in my chat are stable. Right? Any Bizaboos care to disagree with that? Are you are you stable or not? Hello, Seven. Why the fuck is Flory streaming at like 2 p.m. my time? That's like it was like 4am for him or something ridiculous. What's going on with Flo? I haven't been able to watch because he's actually been streaming too early. Normally he started at like a really decent time for me. Which was like late afternoon, early morning, uh, evening. And so I got to watch him in the evening and he's just like going crazy with his current stream idea. He's a madman. He needs to be stopped. He's got infinite power points and monarch skill and all that jazz. Oh my god, he deleted the fort as well. Oh, he's so nice to me. Ottomans are being very, very kind. Like, oh, yes! Perfect. I can actually um, blow up Gallipoli like that. 
It's only 7.41 a.m. in the Netherlands. Perfect. So he did- he started that stream like three hours ago though. So that means he started that stream at 4 a.m. That's my point. He started that stream ridiculously early. Mamluks are going book wild. Look at that name placement. Down the Dead Sea, that's pretty cool. Reckon he'll want to peace out anytime soon. Oh, that's reinforced. He slept for four hours after not sleeping the light night before. What? I don't want to talk shit about my U4 Oshi, but... Flurry! Oh! And I, I feel like I've been really unhealthy lately, and I've been, I've been getting like between five and six hours sleep per night. Oh no, I'm concerning, guys. I'm concerning. I'm gonna concern. But 12 more months. Wait, is he gonna get the... Oh, he cancelled the siege of Sherevan. You can only manage something like that because you're bipolar. I'm sorry to hear that. Although I imagine you're used to it, maybe. I don't know. Does one get used to being bipolar? I don't know. Um... I don't know anything. I'm dumb as hell. Apologies if I just said something super offensive. Bipolar, north or south? Who knows? I've got medication and it works. That sounds good and healthy. I mean, if I'm fast enough, I can knock down Constantinople because he still hasn't got a fort here. It bumped up to 37 dev. Oh, I'm so glad I made that the target. Holy heck. Does he still have the core? Yes. Thank God. He's going to love me and then instantly become disloyal. Oh. Would you look at that? <laughs> Byzantine rebels. They're right there. And they won't be able to move off that point. Interesting. Sorry if you can hear my room music, they're quite loud. We've almost got a uh, Gallipoli. Okay, he's going back for this. I can maybe piss out in like 10 months. Something like that. 10 months? 12. Please. The mic is good enough. I'm filtering out background noise. You can't hear anything except me. Okay, cool. You could hear Lottie before, right? Sometimes? Okay. When she was yelping. Right? She was very excited. Very, very excited. Well, not excited. She was upset because Rumi's left and she was hanging out with them and she was like, No, don't leave him. I'm a little puppy. I don't know how to function without humans. Oh, you asshole. No, please don't do this to me, rebel bombs. Ottomans, please be more stable. Ah, I'm gonna have to deal with that. And my troops suck ass. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the innovativeness. Nah, I probably won't need it. I could honestly go for the AE reduction, but I I think like this peace deal is gonna take so much war score, right? Like, he has so many cores. Oh, that's only 48. And then I can take the rest, right? Because I need... I need what for the Latin Empire? I need Corthu. 
and I need the stuff across the strait as well. Which is a little annoying. Okay, how are we doing on sure then? How many have we got over here? Three? Okay. I just need to dodge these for a sec. Five, seven, eight. That's really expensive. It's something that doesn't buff my military? I don't think that's important. It gives me a dock. I love docks. <laughs> I love docking. No, wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Oh, hey, please don't. Please don't include that in any clips. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna suck. That's really painful to lose the gov reform, but I don't really want to lose. I should have lost the stability. I didn't realize I was on two stab. I'm really dumb today. Wow, I just lost so much gov reform. Like, for no reason. That was 100% the worst choice I should have made. Like, like 25 gov reforms is 25 months. Ticks. A stab hit is. How much admin? And I'm already on positive stab? That's so stupid of me. Uh, let's have... The Merc Siege? And the men... Come over here. Unfortunately, I do have to occupy um, the sieges myself, because I'm the only person in this war. Uh, sure event? Perfect. Goodbye, Shuravan. And that means every single person in this war is there. Am I running on very low sleep? Not today. Um, I think I maybe had five hours sleep, technically. I think I technically had five hours sleep. Um, oh, he's going to go into Hungary. Never mind, that's fine. Hungary will deal with the rebel. Perfect. Or should. Emphasis on should. Not hungry. You can do it. She's old. Five hours is enough when you reach a certain age. I believe that is actually true. That you can function on less sleep when you're older. Right? I don't think I have enough war score for, um... Yes, thank you, Hungry. I don't think I have enough, uh... Like, this is gonna be a hundred, more than a hundred war score. Especially with this, right? Because this is... This has a biz core. Does, so does this. No, this has a claim on this. This has a core on this. Oh, rip rip goose off. Rip the Pope. I was going to say, I'll just go get core food, but he is currently blockading it. Um, so nope. No core food for me. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, da, ba, dum. Five, seven, eight. How am I doing on money? I am losing almost eight ducats a month. So I do want to... Oh, maybe I should take max money. How much is max money? It's only a uh, 1300. So war reps is probably worth more from the author than um, uh, war, uh, taking the lump sum. I might just have to go for the stuff. How do I, can I? Because he has a core on this. Why can't I get... Do I have to occupy this to, for the core option to be in the list? Hello, Lossie. What's wrong? Yes, sink his fleets. 
Oh, yeah. Sink it all. Get it on. Yeah. We got Constantinople on 4%. Not bad. Although, that doesn't mean my uh, navy needs to... Um... Might lose. I do have the galley combat ability. It's not game over if I lose it. I think if I reinforce it, it is game over. That would be a spectacular miscalculation. I can just retreat if need be. No, I am winning. Never mind. Although he is going to reinforce it in a sec, which is not the worst thing. Oh, okay, I am going to lose ships. I can stay in for a little bit longer. Spicy. Okay, I have to pull out. Expert at pulling out, Cleo IT. said what I said. Had a lot of practice. A joke. Pull out queen? What does that even mean? There's a pull out queen. Or a pull out, I assume, king. Is that a naughty thing? Am I inadvertently saying naughty thing? Okay, I'm gonna shut up then. Defeat the Ottomans with this simple trick. Shervan has been pushed out of... Pushed over the Caucasus. This is the... I guess this is... Yeah, it is the Caucasus. So he's been pushed on the other side of them. We can go into Hamid, and then we're running out of provinces that we can occupy with just four units. But I... Probably can't. Probably can't. Oh. Uh, sure. I'll take the army tradition. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh wait, we can. Oh, I can't give this to Constantinople. I just realized. I built Byzantium. I can't give him it. Because it's, uh... He's not in the war. <laughs> I forgot. I scootaged him. Um, okay. So this is 79 war score for the claims. Um, we could finish the island trap. It does mean I... Like, that's a 100% war score. Exactly. It does mean I'm guaranteed a second war against... Did he lose the core? Oh, he did. Good afternoon, Mr. Inhag. Thank you. Good afternoon to you. How does one do this docking? Well, you just trap them in here. Trap them on an island. That's all you gotta do. Too many forts. Can't just walk around normally. I could hire some mercs. We do have a siege general here. Expensive. Like I'm, I will be over force limit, and then the added cost of the fort mercenary maintenance. It'll hurt. It'll hurt my finances. And this is going to take a while to. Yeah, what do I need to do? I need to demand Corfu without owning it. Okay, so I will have to occupy Corfu. Um
What is this? Oh, it's mostly um, transports. I forgot. I shouldn't really be scared of that fleet. I could split in half. Sink that. That's probably enough. Sink this. Get the bombard on this. Oh, I don't need to. It's already breached. There's a cat demanding it rubs on your face. I've never had a cat, so I don't know what that's like. Um... Never, never felt that, really. Okay, I do have to tech up. How has the cost not gone down? I can wait two more month tips. I don't understand. What the heck? I have heard the horror stories of cats, though, being a bit of a dickhead. You get a fifty. Tradition general. Well, he's three siege. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. What? You've never had a bad cat in your life? Hey, I just got super lucky. You know what I can do? I could just not pay for the, the forts. That would make it a lot more affordable. Get it? Affordable? Get it? Affordable? Guys, do you get it? I'm asking if you get it. Yeah? It caused you physical pain? Just like attacking a fort would. And then I wasted some dip. Fuck. Uh, uh, I gotta tack up. Why is it still so expensive? That sucks. Game. Why are you like this? Six ducats a month. God damn. It's so expensive being me. Can I not wait forever for this, please? What the heck? Oh, that would have helped. Oh, but it's so expensive. Ah, 0.36 a month. Ah, but I can't afford it. I also need to occupy a Kofu. Let's run over there. I also need to not capture any more ships, and then I just captured two more. Let's get rid of that. Don't pay for the fort. Bruce of Byzantium is up. Thank you. Cosmos no just resubscribed Can for you four afford months. It? I can't. My economy is in the pooper at the moment. I just captured even more ships that I can't afford. Hmm. I'm at 56 war score. I might be able to piece out AQ and Dulkadir eventually. I guess I could have maybe prioritized going over there and occupying it all. And that would have helped. To last, I didn't. Oh, wait, I could raid. I could just raid because I'm assuming they've. Uh, yeah. I can raid the. 
the mamluks. And over here. Cool beans. Ragusa is Ragusa gone. Although maybe the Pope will put up a fight? For some reason the Pope has knees? What? Uh maybe we just get rid of this then. That'll help a little bit, maybe? Wait. Oh, it helped a lot. Wait, am I actually making money? Or is this lying? That's lying. Okay. Um, I have three transports here. I have three transports here. I have two there. So I can... Let me just get rid of the three here. How many galleys do I have? Five? Three, eight. Five, three, eight. I should maybe get rid of the heavies. The heavies would be the main expense, right? I'm almost four, double my naval limit somehow. That would that would also be a reason. But I have a. I mean, the main expense is the fact that I have a flagship. The flagship alone is two point nine six ducats. Um. Yeah, heavy ship one is a uh, 1.46 ducats a month. It might be time to get rid of the other heavies. It's annoying. I don't. Can you sell ships whilst at war? I'd love to get a profit off that. Maybe I can sell it to Byzantium. Hmm. Nope. You can't sell ships whilst you're at war. Oh. I feel like it's such a waste to destroy them. But, like, between the two of them, it's costing me two ducats a month. Like, three three ducats a month, right? So now it's a lot more manageable. Two ships. Like, if I didn't have the flagship, I would actually be turning a profit right now. Which is kind of wild, right? Oh, I should have, bar like, barraged first. Uh... Oh, I have a bark as well. I think these over here might be enough to let me barrage, but I don't think I want to barrage actually. This is gonna take forever. It's going to take forever. Also, maybe I just keep Constantinople? I think I get a, an event if I take it, right? There's obviously the event with Syria. And I will have to somehow beat the Mamluks. Which is gonna be... an issue. Mamluks have... A lot. Istanbul? Well, it's Constantine at the moment. We're gonna make it Constantinople. Or also known as New Venice. Can I breach? I can. Uh... Call it Rome 2? That's a video game. Hi, Aragon. Would you like to be my friend? Why has he allied Castile? What a bizarre situation we have in Iberia. Castile didn't take... take Castile took the local noble. And so we have all three of them just being friends. Well, technically Portugal and... Aragon aren't friends, but they they have a mutual friend. They have a moot. They they have an umfi or the Castile. What a bizarre, bizarre situation. England is a uh, Desmond is uh, currently hiding in plain sight. 
Just having a look. Conquering Constantinople is part of the Latin Empire mission. Can't look at the um, mission tree on the wiki. Really? It should just be part of the crusade uh, stuff. I assume it's this. Yeah, so if I... I have to take this. And I also have to take these two. Um, to... To, uh, what's it call it? I have to take, uh... These two provinces, because they're in the Macedonian state. Which... Unfortunately, I don't have enough... There's not enough war score in the world for me to take all of it. Like, I could maybe just prioritize the stuff that's actually worthwhile, which is his cause? And Constantinople? And then we take... A Bulgarian province? And we take Kos... Oh, can we... I can't take Kosovo. Oh, I can take Kosovo. Never mind. It does mean I can't take Bul a Bulgarian province. But I think... Oh, it does give me a border of Bulgaria. <laughs> it does give me a border of Hungary. Um... Shit. Oh, wait, I'm also taking this. Oh, we're fine. Never mind, we're fine. Um... Uh, you can take that. That's 96. I could... release... Serbia? Oh, but releasing Serbia loses me control of Kosovo. Uh, lose 50 diplomat for a level 2 Merilov navies. No thank you. I can probably get rid of him though. It is an extra ducker that I'm spending on that I can't really afford. Um, I think his navy is well and truly swamped. France declared war on... What the fuck? France has gone to war with Aragon over the, th the claim of Castile. And he is loyal. Castile is 60k. He literally hasn't done a f flying thing. He's taken a little bit of Morocco and he's eaten a little bit of Morocco. Um, Granada? He's got a little bit left. Hey, we've got a Iberian reversal. Yeah, very hard buffs. But like, Aragon has half. <laughs> I guess lucky nation? Although I would have thought Aragon was also a lucky nation. Did you hear that, guys? I'm making money. That's a little inefficient. I could press one of these to help make money. Um, I I really hope I can get Byzantium more. I can potentially just forego the whole and morale guy. Alternatively, I just try and dump as much as possible into just getting that one province. Because um, his capital is Damascus. So. Oh, perfect. That'll help with the war score. How much did he lose? He's lost 133k from attrition. And that's not including... Uh, AQ. AQ is down to 12k, so he, he was losing men from attrition as well. Well, obviously. And then Dorkadir? Would you like to white piece? Nope. He is still keen as a bean to die in Naxos. Look at him walk away home, Scott. Home, Scott? Home free. Brave, 
brave men who ran away. Didn't want to camp on Naxos anymore. Also known as Naxa Bear. Let's go, starvation. Maybe we attack Genoa straight after this? Nope, never mind. He's allied to Aragon and Hungary. Venice declared war on Milan? Nice. I do like seeing AI Venice do well, but that's because I'm you know, biased. And I will have to fight him at some point for Crete. Not having to fight him this time was very nice. I really wish Ottomans was guaranteeing someone, because I could reset the truce straight away. That would be lovely. Not reset the truce, just get back into a war with them straight away. It's a world conquest, of course you will. That's true. It is 1470, however. Like, it, it's taken us a long time to get to this. Ooh, he did go Hyundai, so he broke the alliance with Austria. And they're going it alone. Although I think they generally tend to like each other, right? Um, I, re I wish I could take Kosovo in any other way. Oh, there goes Tangled Stream. Rest in peace. Um, I think I will have to release Albania, which is not the most ideal of vassals, but it's the only way for me to get Kosovo instantly cord. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I can peace out Dulkadir. Yeah. And I just got Solga. How long do I have until my core is gone? 52. I mean, 1521. Oh wait, no, other way around. Oh wait, I have to fight his name. Forgot about that. Eh, it's fine, we're sinking it. Captured six ships. Which is not ideal. <laughs> Most of which were... Cod? I guess we captured some healthy ships. He's down to 50k. Maybe I just approve relations with Hungary and hope he doesn't kill me? I am a Catholic. So maybe he won't attack me? Lol. Opium. Bum ba da bum. Bum bum bum. Ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum. Bum bum bum. Oh wait, I should be able to start integrating Byzantium in three years. Cool. He'll be super loyal as well. Um, yeah, restoration of the hospitaliers is what we want. Can you just not take the Bulgarian province to get Kosovo? No, it won't let me. I mean, I could do that. But for some reason, because you can only take balls attached to you. You can do that. You can only take uh, files bordering your vassal. But 
but I figured having Bulgaria there would be better than Bulgaria here, maybe? Because then they have a navy to help with? I don't know. What am I hitting? Two galleys and a transport. Thank god I didn't capture anything. Holy. This should be enough, right? Really? Uh oh. Those? I guess, yeah, if I have that province there. If I have this problems there, then I can just walk into Kosovo. I really don't know why I can... I can't get Kosovo from... here. But I can get it from there. Isn't that strange? It's weird. Isn't that weird? Right, 92%? How much more do I need? I guess I can split my navy in half again. Just blockade him for the win. Hi, what are you conquering today? Uh, we're conquering the Balkans. Uh, the same thing we do every day. As it turns out, in just every every map painting game I do, I fight the Balkans. How much admin do I need for this? 229. Uh, influence. We should play as East Asia next. Well, I haven't played EU4 in a while. Like, people have been asking for me to play EU4 for a while, so... I figured I'll play EU4 today. Hopefully, people will... enjoy it, and actually want to watch. But I don't know if people are actually enjoying it and want to watch. That remains to be seen. Uh, we can get three stab. And that'll help with integrating this. Hell yeah, you are. Nice. I'm glad you are. Am I paying for Solga? No. Thank God. Am I paying for Corfu? Oh, fuck. The Montenegrins are occupying provinces. Mamluks declared war on AQ. Ottomans broke their alliance. Perfect. Only allied with Dolkadir now. Maybe I should have just raced over. Maybe I should have. Ninety-seven percent? Ottomans, would you like to finally peace out? Give me an extra hundred ducats whilst you're at it. Why not? Lore of Hags. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow's Warhammer 3. Um, because it, I think the patch goes live at midnight my time, which is just, that's too late. That is way too late for me to be playing, uh, you know? A little bit too late. You'll still play by yourself? Nope. I'm not going to. I'm going to bed. I want to stream. I have a sponsor stream as well tomorrow. Okay. Is there anything else that we should maybe check before we do this? Or is this the final deal? 
Or should we maybe make the Ottomans die? He's, we've got him on 46%. I mean, 46k troops. He's burns 132k manpower. You always like to try and bankrupt him? How do I check if he's bankrupt? Oh yeah, loans. Score, right? Country... Or enemy. How do I check if he has loans? Just end it? He has only. Oh, wait, that's me. Isn't it economy? It might be economy. I thought it was admin rating. He has nine loans. I have one. I mean, am I making money right now? I am, but I'm also getting call for peace. And the only way to, I guess, bankrupt him at this point would be to occupy him fully. How many max loans can he have? Anyone know? Oh wait, does this score, does this just cost dip? 41. Okay, well that's not terrible. I always forget that cost dip to ask for cause returned. Depends. Very hard AI. How many loans could he have? So I don't really want him to bounce back from this. I don't want him to die. You check, but you can't access your mouse right now. That's fair. Like, I'm doing okay economically. I'm not going to have much money after this war, because I'm not taking... I'm taking a hundred ducats. I wonder if it's better to just go for the Latin Empire stats. I mean provinces. But I don't think I can take Constantinople if I do that. And I think it's more important that I take Constantinople. The only problem is I can't actually return it to Constantinople. That was kind of a dumb move on my behalf. Because they're not in the war. So you can't use return core on Constantinople for the discount. So it's just full price. Um... Taking money would help him get bankrupt. Yeah, but what would I not take then, in that case? Kosovo? Would I just not take any of this, and then just take a thousand buckets from it? Well, not a thousand, because that's actually more than a hundred. I feel like this is the smarter choice. But what do I know? Well, France is dead. <laughs> oh, he is so fucked. Even Genoa is getting involved. Mighty, mighty Genoa with 22k. Sucks to be friends. It already did. That sucks. I think I'm just gonna go with this. That said, I am benefiting from the um He has ten loans. 
I'm already benefiting from the... What's it called? The Crusade. So I'm going to lose out on the Crusade modifiers as well. But, like, my country is fine. I'm actually somehow making sailors. Which seems bizarre. Seems utterly bizarre that I am actually in the positive for sailor production. I'm just gonna go with this. France is dead. Not a big surprise. They're dying. Okay, now we just hope that Hungary doesn't eat my face, right? That's the main hope. Um... Yeah, I should have maybe realized that attacking for Constantinople like that was a bit dumb. Rival Genoa? Oh, he did get that back. That's weird. Um... Okay. What am I doing? Release Bulgaria? And now I should be able to... Call Kosovo? Yep. And I think just for the thrill of it, let's release Albania as well, because this isn't going to help me at all. I mean, I could put a fort in... Um, I don't know how to say this, Lesk. I'm probably butchering it. Put the fort there, it defends Kosovo, it's in mountains, it'll be nice and breezy. Um, because Albania is not exactly the best vassal. Kind of mediocre. Um, but we should be able to integrate Byzantium soon. Oh! Never mind. Yeah, I don't think I want to release Albania if my vassals are already disloyal. Release Albania with Kosovo? No, I want the gold mine. I would like the gold mine. And then maybe we'll get Montenegro to pop out as well. And then I can just fight Montenegro. Um, holy heck, my ruler is 62 and so is my heir. The Ritz and um, Destroyed have been done, doing very, very well for themselves. Um... Am I... Am I, um... What's it called? I do have War Exhaustion. But it doesn't matter. It's not that high. I think. I think it's better to just core it. Remember to grab strong dutchies. Thank you! Thank you very much. We got a noble integration policy. Um, because I think I just want to start integrating beers as soon as possible, right? That's this is so much dev. And it's my culture. Favors for trust. You are very correct. I always forget that one. Thank you very much. That's just right at the bottom. And he should love me, right? Never mind. He doesn't love me that much. But I have like... That's 37. I'm 39 here. I'm just gonna take Kosovo, uh, Constantinople for myself. I'm not gonna give it to Biz. That's just gonna make Biz harder to integrate. And then... I'm gonna rival... Oh, do I rival Naples? Yes. I rival Hungary. No, I rival the Ottomans, though. Definitely. Rec 
recovery of Greece. Hooray! Specialist 290 just resubscribed for 11 months. Clio, I wave, Clio, I wave, Clio, I wave. Thank you very much, Specialist of 290. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you for 11 months of support. I'm gonna sleep slipping by for a while until I feel tired. Well, I've heard that my streams can act like a sleep aid, so... I mean, that might help? Oh wait, I also have this. Um, Liberty Desire from Subjects Development. This is also affecting it? So if I seize... Should be even better? Maybe? I don't know. Revelation. Never mind. Uh, now we can... Thingy. Byzantium. And we can pay off our singular loan. What are my current balance effects? Is it just my navy? Uh, oh. Uh. For some reason his army is still trapped there. Which I think is fine, right? Maybe I just get rid of my transports? Am I ever going to get rebels on roads? I don't think I will. It'll help with the whole being over naval limit. It's a, it's a maybe not the smartest thing, but yeah, I mean, I'm making money now. And I am overextended as well, which will be the main reason that I'm struggling with economic stuff. Okay, I should be able to ally the Pope, maybe? Oh. Destroyed 046. Oh no, 45. You were one of the best leaders the knights have ever seen. Goal for this run, world conquest? Yes. Thank you for your service. 07 in chat. The destroyed. You recovered Greece from the dastardly Ottomans. And now we are led by the mighty Ritz. Um, and I think we need to catch up on admin tech. Correct? Yeah. And now we have the fun fact of uh, we probably want to pick something that lowers the clergy. So maybe we go the merchant son and get some extra money. He's not very good. He is good at admin, but who wants to be the heir? Would anyone like to be the heir? Anyone at all? Lark. Oh, oh our heir is a zealot though. We should probably be very good. I do. This is scooters. Maybe don't take Kosovo. What does he want? Hungry doesn't want that. I didn't get any allies in time. I should have tried to ally him. That's really annoying. 55k. I 
I don't have... I don't have, um, thingy scooters. Hello, Namburna. I didn't know you streamed. Welcome. Let me shout you out. I'm sitting very awkwardly, so this is very awkward to type. Nambona. S-O. Nambona. How was Like a Dragon Infinite Well? Oops, the game crashed. Oops, the game crashed. I was hoping he wouldn't be hostile. I should have tried to ally him straight away. You had to end your stream, Ellie, because your room is too damn hot today. Yeah, it's hot in Australia. Such misfortune, our game crashed. I hope your game didn't crash. Thank you for the raid number. Can you hear me drum on my thigh? I'm sitting with, like, my legs sideways in my seat. I'm like a like a mermaid, but like not a very nice looking one. Like a siren. You hear the slap? It's not wet. How is that wet? That's not wet. That's just that's just thigh meat. It's just thigh meat. There's nothing there's no liquids. It's only the twenty second, yes. What is happening? It's moist from the stink? Don't be like that. Um, are we still in the war? We are. Okay, no Kosovo. What if I take... Shit, what do I take then? Isel? Release Karaman? No, because Mamluks will attack me, right? Yeah, Mamluks are permanent claims. Oh. She didn't say no? I'm not. Only the top part, so you look like a normal person. What? What? Anyway, take all the callers. We just bankrupt him. Oh, the rebels enforced amends. Oh, that was it. The rebels enforced amends. Okay. I guess I can take this and this and this, and then we take that. I don't know. I think it's worth it taking Corfu and Cephalonica. They're not really worth much. They're really not that important. How did you beat Otto? Um, step one. Attack at uh, Byzantines. Make sure you get Athens. This is the most important part. Well, first of all, build up a navy. Um, also, this is on very hard difficulty, by the way. Um, so... You know, also has 43k. Uh, Castile is a PU and has 53k. France has 55k. Hungary has 55k. You get the point. People are massive. Um, basically, build up a navy, attack Athens, take Athens, um, release a subject. I just chose Biz. Scooches the vessel immediately. Attack Ottomans. Occupy the islands of Naxos and Erbia. And then, using your navy, you have to win the, your navy battle against the Ottomans. That's the important part. Your navy has to be big enough to beat them. And then, you just... Um, put your fleet in port. Ottomans will march over to try and kill your... Uh, you'll leave an army and occupy one of these islands. Preferably Naxos. And then... Um, you, um, scorch the earth. Importantly, scorch the earth. Um, Ottomans and all their allies will march over here to Athens. And then if you keep the port, um, the strait unlocked, um, they'll keep trying to march in. 
And then you just may basically need to manage the AI until eventually all of their armies decide to go into Naxos. And then once they all commit, you simply move your army from Naxos into Erbia. Um, and then once they're all locked in, march into Erbia. They all arrive in Naxos, block the strait, and then you are free to um, take all of his land. Or occupy all of his land. That's how you do it. Yeah, you island trap him in Naxos. If you don't know what island trapping is, that's a very brief description of what it is. Can I attack him? Or is he keen? Yeah, he's keen. Oh, hungry ally Genoa. So if I rival Genoa, hungry won't like me. Can you declare for this? No. Can you declare for this? No. It's literally just Serbia. He has claims on Serbia and some of this. Oh. Strangely enough, he has claims on the Bulgaria states. And this. But not this. Or this. I could release Serbia. No, I can't. Serbia has a core here, but it's... Um... It's Bulgarian, so it won't go to Serbia. If I release Serbia, it has to be bordering him, in which case he's just gonna attack Serbia if I manage to attack him. See, the thing is, I want Kosovo, because it's a gold mine. I did just rewind time and uh, take Kosovo. Um, from taking Kosovo, because Hungary instantly just declared on me. Um... Maybe there's a way out of this. I don't think I can get Kosovo and not have Hungary attack me. Um, because he's just going to attack, I think. I, I just don't know if there's anywhere to do it. I think I just take stuff. If I take um, this, that saves me a, a bit of sieging down in the future. Maybe I take Itzel. It, it opens me up to... Um, if I take Itzel, it's, it opens me up to Mamlukian stuff. Although he technically already has a claim on me because... No, he doesn't actually. Cyprus is not a vassal. Kosovo is Templar? Oh, right, because I'm the knights. Right, I see what you're trying to say. Um... He doesn't have claims on Albania. I could do an Albanian vassal. I don't think that's worth it. It's like 20 dev. It is literally 20 dev. I don't think that's worth it. Although Albania is a nice color. Nice color, very nice flag. I just think, like, do you reckon Hungary is just going to attack regardless? Like, if I piece out this. Oh, that's a 100 war score. That is a 100 war score. I could not take this and then take the war reps or take 700 ducats. Seven hundred ducats over one province. It's a straight crossing. If I take it, it's easy wars for Ottomans to take. I think you need to take it to form Byzantium. I think you have to have these three to form Byzantium. Which, spoiler alert, I'm forming Byzantium. Like, we have to fight him anyway, twice. I think I go with this then. 
We just take less. Seven hundred ducats is fine. I can pay off my loans. Um, we release Bulg. I can release Serbia. What? Bulgaria is better. But like six dev to get a Serbi oh wait, you can't release both. You wouldn't be able to release both, no. Okay, we got Bulgaria. Got Constantinople. We're gonna take Constantinople for ourselves and march into there. Grab our navy. Sail over there. Easy peasy. Let's check if we can ally Hungary. No. He likes us, but not that much. Um, divert trade on Bengi. Seas. I could sell Seas for an extra 200 ducats. 260 ducats. Oh wait, no, if I, um... If I dev click once... But if... Uh, both of them are very expensive to dev click. Never mind. Um, sell seas. I have to dev roads. Twice. Um. Get the mission done, get the diet. Something new? Rhodes Church. Rhodes a church. Okay. And we just wait. We've saved uh, Constantinople from the, uh, the Muslims. We have done it. Don't forget strong duchies. That's true, but they're both loyal at the moment. There's the Crusade gun. I could probably go Noble Integration. That'll help with the fuck. Oh, no. I just have to improve relations. And then also just make myself stronger. And then also trade favors. Right, trust for favors. Immediately go disloyal. Yeah, I know. Constantinople is loyal. Which... Can I then divert trade? Yeah. It's a little bit spicy, but... Should be fine. And then I think our next target is Venice. Which is a little bit spicy, because... We might be able to walk over to Constantinople. But we might need to unscootage this? Alternatively, we just back, we start integrating this as soon as possible, which is two years from now. Two years from now. We could just sit pretty. We could just absolutely just sit pretty and um, maybe try and find a friend that the world is cruel. The world is a cruel place, and there are no friends for us. In fact, why don't we take Cyprus? How many ships is that? 16. 
41. 43. 49. That's a lot of ships. I don't, we do have the strongest navy in the world. But that might be a little bit over the top. That might be a little bit over the top. Oh yeah, we can raid over here. Because now I have more coastline to raid. My raid time is completely messed up because I did some of it during the war. Um, but this is a pretty good place to raid. Normally occupied by just Crimea, so or Ottoman. So normally has a lot of land to burn. Not the Genoese stuff. Why did Genoa had to ally like two superpowers? This is ridiculous. Like Aragon and Hungary. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. There's Hungary's declaration on Otto. So we are going to have borders with um, Hungary anyway, most likely. Unless Hungary can lose, which is possible. Hungary might lose still. Otto is silly and may um, just win somehow. Superpowers in loose terms. You know what I meant. Regional powerhouses. I could upgrade the Parthenon in Athens. But I think if you integrate a subject whilst you're upgrading a great project, I think you maybe lose the progress? I forget. Um, okay, yeah, we don't have Malta yet. I would like to have Malta, but he allied Genoa. It's a little bit spicy. A wee bit spicy. If we, maybe, I don't think he will, but if I improve relations, he might maybe not take, like, for example, Thrace and give it back to Bulgaria. Sweden is going insane. That is one strong Sweden. Holy. Grace, final frontier. This is the home of the Starship Enterprise. I think is how that goes, right? We do, however, need to build, like, forts in my subject's lens because he doesn't have any forts. Like, Castoria is always a pretty good spot for a fort. Um, it covers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. It's a mountain. AI defaults to Macedonia having a fort, but I think Castoria is technically a better spot. Reformations won't spawn for a bit. It's only 1470s. Only. Uh, do I want to tech up? Yes, because workshop. That said, we did miss out on um, we did miss out on fasting because I think Liège got it. Yeah, we did. Which is fine because glass will technically end up more worthwhile than fasting in the long run. Um, it's just you know you lose you lose out on the diamond district bonus, which is. Uh, local goods produced plus 0.5 and trade value. It's nice. Oh no, they're speaking Swedish in the chat. I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Anyway, we do have to fight Cyprus at some point. Uh, 
Um, we have to... Oh. Ottomans have no... No, okay, the Ottomans are dead. <laughs> Ottomans are super duper dead. Never mind. Yeah, Hungary's got him dead for rights. Actually... If he moves his entire... If the Hungarians move their entire army... Into... Anatolia, and we track him there. Never mind. He will just walk around. But not yet. He can't walk around just yet. Um, we could potentially trap his entire army in in Anatolia. But he can't get black flagged, that's the problem. He needs to not get black flagged. Um, which he could very well get black flagged if he pieces out of the war with Ottoman. How do I have claims on his land from the biz? What? Oh. Biz has claims on Serbia. The only problem is like... I have no idea if he... Did he vassalize? Oh, he vass... He marched Hungary, uh, Bosnia. Okay. I will have to fight Genoa. But I think the Genoese fleet is... Oh, he has 20 ships. Okay. I mean, that's fine. It would just be the Genoese ships that would be the problem. Which is... 41 ships. Look, I'm also rivaled with the Ottomans. Would you like to be my friend? Would you like to be my friend? Hello? Anyone? Anyone at all? Would you... Anyone want to be my friend? Cyprus. Trent. Ferrara. Oh boy. Massive, massive potential allies. Oh boy, wait, Danzig? It didn't turn into Prussian, Ducal Prussia? Kinda interesting. France isn't looking too hot. No, France is looking very dead. Um, it's a succession war between Aragon and France over Castile, and Castile is very happy to remain the subject of Aragon, it turns out. Um, are you at war with... You're at war with France. Maybe we attack Venice? Crete? This is a lot of troops. Like, that's a fuck ton of dudes. Between him and his subjects and all of his allies? What a weird Iberian wedding. Yeah, so he... Castile took the local noble instead of the Iberian wedding. And then, um... Oh wait, who's disloyal? Oh, both of them are. Why do you have so much debt? Why? Oh wait, I could start integrating this? 818 bits. I guess we just try that. Because I feel like if I get a border with um, Hungary, I feel like I'm going to just get murdered by Hungary. Because he's just going to keep the good times rolling and just roll over me instead of the Ottomans. Because um, once he takes this, he'll get permanent claims on Greece, I'm pretty sure. It's either that or he'll support Bulgaria's independence, perhaps.
Oh, peasant's wool for the Ottomans. I could know... I could truce break the bids, perhaps. I'll only be on negative two step. And no one cares, because I went espionage. Is the answer espionage... quality? Espionage merc? I don't know if espionage was the right idea. Oh, you can't become a march. I don't want to eat you. Um, my ec economic stuff will be fixed once I have Constantinople integrated. Um, the only problem is converting it. I'll make Turkish accepted, definitely, because I'm going to have a lot of Turkish land in the future. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do about the whole 37 dev province that is the wrong religion. That's the problem. Which I guess is why you give it to Constantinople, or buy, you give it to the Byzantines so that the Byzantines um, flip it to your religion. Do you have the age objective? Yes. The problem is I can't take anything. There's nothing for me to take. There's, but I don't know why I took espionage when I can't take anything in the next war. Because the next war is the Ottomans and I have a 15 year truce with them. Right? More than that. 20, I guess. I don't know, it would have been 15. I have a 15 year truce with them. Okay, judging from the fact that. This will be a, a hundred percent stupid, but I'm ninety percent sure that's the last of his army. Well, it's him and his friends, right? Oh, Mumbohim, Bosnia, go across. Truce breaker's fine. Are you sure? I tend not to truce break. So, is the, is the goal here now I just attack Hungary? Block the strait, just march in, occupy all of Hungary? Theoretically, his entire army is here. What are his allies? Genoa, who's probably over here, um, and would be the only one if I would have to fight if his army is over there. I'm 90% sure Trent is over here, and I guess Florence is not in the war, so I would have to fight Florence, which is 17k. But Florence is rivaled with Venice, so he might not actually have access walk over there. So he might just stay there. I don't know. Oh! Sweden's losing to Denmark. Again. Oh, he's eating Norway. All gas got peed. Check Mil Mil access. Well, they're not in the war yet. Oh, I guess he would potentially have access because Genoa would axe. Yeah, he would have access. Why does he have such awful allies? Um. I could attack Cyprus, but then that calls him a Mamluk. But it avoids 
hungry. I'm gonna be right back one sec. Be back. Baby Gronk tipped $3.33, sticking out your jet for the Yozla, your Sovividi, your Soshima tax, I just want to be your Mako, freaking Hanya, give me your Cleo. Hello. Sorry. I had to go to the toilet. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, what's going on? Sorry for going away. I forgot I, I should have gone on the BRB. Um, I missed a donation. Thank you, baby Gronk. Oh, I hate that message. And thank you for the follow. Hydrate, I shall. Um, do you think it's worth doing a little sneaky, sneaky save scum? Um, can I attack any of his allies? They're all in the HRE, aren't they? Genoa isn't. I can attack Genoa and call in Aragorn. Fucking hell. You got asked why you read your books backwards? It's a magical book. 
Oh, it's because my rigging artist is Japanese. <laughs> My rigging artist is Japanese, and I never realized that. Yeah, of course, when she rigged the book to be read, she rigged it the other way around, not to... not to the Western way. I probably should have mentioned that. That was a complete oversight on my behalf. Oops. I'll just no-CB Trent. Yeah, that'll work. Get colonized. No, I got colonized by the Japanese. I shouldn't say that as bad. Oh, Christ, look at that. Mamluki and Anatolia. Oh, it's evil looking. <sighs> okay, so if everything is hungry, is trapped over there. I will only have to fight Genoa and Florence, which is their Miltex 6. <laughs> I'm Miltex 6. Genoa has 24k, Florence has 17k, so that's only 41k. I'm staring down the barrel of death right now. Okay, then Venice has to go. 48 ships. Oh, they allied Burgundy, of course. He's... <sighs> you ally Poland? No. I'm too small. I think I'm gonna die, guys. It might be that I just have to jump. Otto when I'm done with the war and then just keep attacking him. Um, with coring and then just hope for the best. I don't know, this feels like I'm gonna die. I think I need to save up for Tech 7. Yeah. Because, like, he's just gonna get claims on me and then he's just gonna kill me. Like, Hungary is 100% gonna attack me. I don't see how I get out of this. Um, this lasts for 20 years. Okay, I'm going to press that now. Just join the HRE? I can't at the moment. I could if I take Venice. That's a lot of troops. And now that I have Constantinople, I can't just island trap them. I'm gonna have to scootage Bulgaria. I'm I'm feeling a little bit fucked. When you have too much debt, do you take Venice? No, like Venezia? No. Join, um, Venice can join at the start of the game if you aren't aware. You have to like pump a lot of relations into Austria, but you can join. And Venice is 190 something dev. Something like that. Um, I killed the Ottomans too hard, guys. What do I do? I need friends, the Pope. Thirty-four ships, forty-eight ships. Talon 332 cheered Dex 100. It's Alan. Thank you 100 bits. Thank you very much. I'm a little bit at a loss of what I need to do now. Uh, 
Um, we have a lot of money, but not a lot to do with it. Like, I don't think I can spend enough money to fix the sheer number of disadvantage at me at the moment. Unless I just kept island trapping. Which is what I did last time, isn't it? I think last time Hungary did de declare on me, I just island trapped him. And then I occupied all of Hungary. And I occupied all of Ottoman. I think I, I I think I did island trap multiple times. Um so it may have fucked up by committing to just becoming Byzantium straight away. Because I can't. I think you have to... Well, one, I need to flip religiously. And then two, I need to... Um, I think you need these three? And these. You need the states finished. So I'll need that as well. And this, I think. I can't remember. It's been a hot second. Oh wait, I did just finish um, pouring Constantinople. Turkish is accepted. I might need to primary culture shift to Greek. Uh, once I integrate biz, it'll be fine. Also, that apparently fixed my issue with Bulgaria. I'm going to take the stab hit. Also, I can apparently just convert Constantinople. It will take a while. Probably just need to go Miltec now. And then just somehow get an army. I'm not sure. Missionary, please. Oh, wait. Do I want to maybe just flip? Do I maybe just want to flip? Orthodox, sacrifice that. Why did you know I have to ally? Oh my god, Milan is no PM. Okay. What the hell? I could ally Venice. Is that the answer? Ally Venice? He is guaranteeing me, right? No, he cancelled his guarantee. Okay. Which is weird. Because I didn't get attacked. Wait, when did Lithuania get pewed? Eh? Crimea has allied rivaled me. Sweden will defend us. Okay. Can I have the Inquisitor, please? Not these guys with beards? Can I have a different guy with a beard, please? Actually, I think the Inquisitor doesn't have a beard. I think the Inquisitor... 
because it has a different appearance. I'll just build the force them and hope for the best, I think. Like, you know what could happen? He takes land over here and he gets stuck. I don't know. Lawrence is not keen on the war. What song is this? It's from um, the game. Um, it's Whispering Forest. Whispering Forest in the game soundtrack. There you go. Oh wait, I can get this one right here. And before I already had one. I did. He's not bold either. It's very expensive though. Seven ducats a month. In the red. I think I should be island trapping everyone still. You film music it is pretty. I think it is underrated. They've added some pretty good tracks in the recent memory. He's my only friend option. Also, is he loyal? Yeah. We're gonna see Sweden in France, which is some. Crusader King's nonsense. Um, the OGs aren't that great, but yeah, the, the more recent tracks are. They're pretty good. How am I gonna get out of this one? Okay, well, hey guys. I have a border with Hungary. He took literally everything. I'm so dead. Wait, no, he's friendly. He does want my land. Oh, the French uh, appanages are fighting. Wait, what did Aragon take? Oh, he took Provence. Interesting. Oh, Venice has Nice, by the way. What the hell happened to Italy? What is this? I guess I... just curry favours with Hungary and get my cores back? It's a massive waste of one of my... things, but... I mean, it's w probably worth it. Most normal borders in Italy. Yeah. We have one, two, three, four. Four OPMs and then just like a rainbow of colours. Technically, Trent is Venetian. Ah. Let's not pay for my troops. Oh wait, no, I have to pay for my troops. I've got Ottoman rebels coming. I'm so confused as to why he's totally fine with this. How long is this going to take? I guess I just join his wars and then build up a power base and then either take back all the cores diplomatically or um, attack directly. Oh, this way I could actually get Serbia as a vassal as well. Because I can take that. Take this for myself. 
Take that, release Serbia, get, um... Get, um, Kosovo. Ottoman truce is 87, so 10 years. 10 years of not doing anything. I think I want to try and go for the Syria province. Um, it's a lot. It's going to be very painful. And also the Ottomans are just going to build up their army again. Which is not ideal. I have no idea how he ended up with such a trash ruler. Like a 2-3-1. When his government type is normally guaranteeing really, really good rulers. Austria just declared war on Burgundy, Imperial ban. So now Austria is at war with Sweden. Okay. What? <laughs> Wonder how Milan died? Oh, um, Venice just attacked them and just went munch. Ooh. Do you know I just developed their capital? I could maybe get him to a... If I attack Cyprus, then the war goal isn't attacking Syria. I could do that. In I only have eight ships. And Cyprus has... Oh, only 5k. I could beat that. And then I just have to be diligent with my um, fleet management. They are hungry for land. They are. There's the rebels. Ah. Um, how am I gonna get out of this situation? letting time pass. I feel very passive. I think like a EU4 YouTuber. Which is just something I've noticed in EU4 YouTubers. They just put the game on speed 5 and they're just like oh, just like missing everything. And I'm like, wow, well, don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. Oh, they allied Portugal now. What the fuck? It triggers you to no end. I don't understand why they do it. It's so inefficient. Maybe it's to upset people. <sighs> I could have Hungary smash Venice for me. He wants land for it. So I can get rid of the Venetian... Um, Dalmatia. And somehow take Naples? Build up a power base in southern Italy? I don't know. Attack Aragon? It's terrible. I feel like I'm boxed in by major powers right now. And like, the way that you fix this is by island trapping, which I got rid of my main advantage from that. Which was a little bit silly of me. Oh, did I lose my, um... Yeah, I did. My missionary strength one. Because I... I lost my missionary strength guy because, um... What's it called? I achieved religious unity. That's the word. Very hard sounds worse than it is. Like, Ottomans is the easy war to go for right now, but I just have a truce, and I feel like truce breaking is just a bad idea. Um, and so I think the idea is maybe I attack Cyprus. 
and just hope my navy is good enough. I take the tech, but my dip gain is now atrocious because I, um, I'm integrating. The AE from truce breaking is negligible. It's 77 AE. Of 123 countries. Like, yeah, it's gonna be... Those with an in... Oh, will greatly upset the interest in... With... Those with an interest in Ottomans by negative 50 opinion as base aggressive expansion modifiers. Does that mean Hungary would be upset? How does that work? I guess we just hope that my navy is strong enough to beat everything. And we can get the islands from Genoa at least, if I somehow win that, and then I can break Genoa's alliance with Hungary. Um, that could be worth something, I suppose. And then I just need to somehow snipe Aleppo. Which he is beginning to integrate. I don't know how I'm gonna snipe it. Oh, my income. And I need an admiral. I don't have the dip really to spare for it. I think I did just put my focus on that. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'll just go for Cyprus and try. Tags with provinces of interest in Ottoman is Aki, Venice, Mamluks, Austria, Hungary, Poland. Just everything around it, really. Um, and then I do need to get a ship. Which is a random galley. Leave it behind. Because they're going to get access through Ottomans, most likely, through one of the countries there. Is Thinky Scootage? Yes. I just wonder if Genoa just walks through. She could. Genoa might just be able to walk through and occupy Constantinople, which would not be ideal. Um. Who wants to be an admiral? Anyone? Anyone at all? Umpta. I don't know. Let's just have the guys up. And go for it. This is so stupid. Capture the ship. A bark. What is sailing into us now? Another bark. We didn't capture it this time, thankfully. And then we got 15 more barks coming in. I should have probably checked to see what the Genoese uh, navy was, to be honest. Because if it was 17 barks, I wouldn't have been scared of it, because I literally just sank it all. Yep, I just sank the entire thing. Get the box and sell them. Hmm. 
That's what Lottie is doing, getting all the box. That is a good that's a good one. Plus two. Plus two. Oh, I do have to worry about him landing on me. <laughs> I just realized. Um Mamlux might land on me. In which case I'm in a little bit of an issue. Um hopefully he doesn't land on me. I'm being a big coward today because I haven't played EU4 and I haven't it, well I haven't played EU4 in a while so I've just forgotten my own abilities I guess forgotten how to play can I? no well, now I can Let's do the old in support for one day trip. Get the repair to. There we go. Time to live dangerously. Exactly. Nine galleys. Plus four. But he really don't have many galleys for some reason. I'll take his islands and then break his alliance with Aragon, definitely, and Hungary. That is the goal. How many troops do you have? Twenty-five thousand troops. Oh, Jesus. How am I going to get past that? Can I get the mouth tick? Yes, perfect. I don't know if I'm going to win this. This is a little bit scary. Because uh, his fleet is normally pretty good. Mamlukian fleet is normally pretty good. But I did roll an 8, plus 3. I don't know if I still have the galley. The galley? The galley combat ability. So what I could do is do this and see if. Is he getting mill access through auto? No. Okay, no, we have naval superiority. Like, immense naval superiority. Like, that's that was embarrassing for him. Amounts of naval superiority that I just dumpstered on him. What? Let's delete his ships, because I can't even afford my current ones. Take the month tick. And then I'm gonna grab these guys and land on Cyprus. Hopefully. Start get war taking wars. Oh. Can I save Noctis? Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll go over here, land in Rose. I think I can make it and repair. It's like the day of. Yep. Oh. Land. Oh, he's been building up his troops. Of course. Of course he would build up his troops. Um, he's Miltex 5. I'm Miltex 7. Hopefully that's good enough to beat him. Um, Cypriot Navy is there. Well, trade ships are there. This is going to be a bit tight. He has economic ideas. Thankfully, he didn't go like quality or something. 
it's normally the AI picks. Does the AI go admin mill mill now? I forget. Is it admin mill mill? Is that the trend of everything? Oh no, dip mill. Admin. Dip. Uh, dip mill. Admin. Unless they're a colonizer. Oh, we won. Never mind. Oh, okay, we're fine. I probably should have paid attention to the very important military battle that was happening. Mill, not milk. Oh! Well, Constantinople is going to get occupied, which is not ideal, because it's almost done with the missionary. Alexa, plays, play the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme song. Maybe he'll go through it? Maybe he'll come for the islands? If I don't blockade the strait? No, he doesn't have access. Surely Genoa would be- not Genoa, surely like, I don't know, Luca could ask for access through? Oh, fuck's sake. I'm fucked. Does that s pause it or does it- I'm just gonna not pay for him for a sec. Can I ask for access? Oh, I'm rivaled him. You... Can Luca, ask for access, please? Because if I can island trap both of them here, that's perfect, but I don't think I'm going to be able to island trap them. That's okay, you can sit there. I'm just not going to pay for my missionary at the moment. Half my country is occupied. That's not good for anything. Can you walk across, please? He is not improving relations with the Ottomans. Never mind. Yes. I guess what I could do is I could use Cyprus unconning and just take everything that I need. That's what I could do. Um, coastline. Is that coastline? I guess if I take Constantinople and make it my capital, the farmland is. But I think war taxes are probably more useful at the moment. I'm hemorrhaging money. Oh dear. Um. Always nice to have extra different. Try and get rid of all the busted ships I just grabbed that I don't need. Um, that modifier is nice, but I can't really 
afford to have my estates rebel right now. I captured three, oh, two galleys and one. Oh. Any cog lovers in chat? Ranking your cog all the time, 24-7. Uh, what are we sailing into here? Nothing. I'll just take up admin, because I'm super far ahead on mill ideas, and I think I want to get quality. Right? I think I want quality. Right? Is the community ever not talking about cogs? No, this the game community loves cogs. Espion mercenary? Maybe mercenary. Coggers? Take mercenary, eventually drop it later. I have no idea. Hogs are awesome. Yeah, the cute little bits. Clearly I need navel. Hello Jets, am I queen of the world? I am not. I own two provinces. I own Rose and I own Constantinople. Rostama just resubscribed for Good 12 Rostama. months. Hello Cleo, have a nice stream. Thank you Rostama. And happy one year for me. Thank you very much for a year of support, Rostamir. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you for the continued support. I very much appreciate everything you have done for me. Um, why won't they get access through the Ottomans? Like, can't Luca just ask? Hello? Luca? Ask. Go ask. It's really not that hard. You, he doesn't hate you. Genoa, even. Actually, probably Genoa he hates. I don't know. Oh, it's 100% intended, the cog. Cog and cock. It's 100% intended. Also, I can carry favors with Hungary. I am negative 40 war score? Because half my country is occupied? Oh, Christ. That's pretty miserable. Um, yeah, cock and bark. Torture. Please just walk across. Please stop just sitting on Constantinople. What are you, some sort of crusader? I'm the crusader. What is the goal of this campaign? Conquer the world. Oh my god, his entire navy is there. Is he gonna sail? I mean, if I can catch him there. Um, is he some sort of crusader king? No, he's not a king, he's a republic. My country. He's not gonna. He's not gonna uncon now that half my country is occupied. Slightly under half my country is occupied. I think I go quality. Right? There's Cyprus. What are you doing up there? Oh, shit! Wait. They're walking. Oh, 
Oh, but I don't have the straight blocked because it's occupied the fucking Mamluk. These guys are dead. Can't catch all of them. I might need to reload like a month back. Cause he's got oh wait, no, he can't get access? Wait, can he? If I block that, it's Ottoman's biz. Can he walk across this? No one has twenty six. That's not in oh, that's not the entire fucking Genoese army. Oh, you're kidding me. Also, France, Austria is dying to Sweden. Okay. Where is the rest of his army? Don't pay for the fort. Let's see if I can save my guys in Cyprus, because I need them. I need them elsewhere. How many ships do you have, Luca? 11k? How many are there? 11k. I can get my missionary guy again. What? That scared the shit out of me then. I was like, what? No, you can't do that. That's not fair. Um, okay. So with this, I can not get half my country occupied and uh, how much am i going to fight of genoa 26k what's 15 plus 7 22 of course he loses access of course of course they lose access are you what are you smoking, game? What on earth are you smoking? What? How big is your navy? Why do you no longer have access through your own country? What? Ask for access. I have to walk, I can't. Oh shit. Um spend the money. Oh, and then we can pay for the missionary. And how long is that gonna take? I think I have to hire the person again, which is very expensive. It takes a few buckets just to finish the conversion. For a religion, I'm not gonna even remain. Ugh. Okay, one, two, three. 
Okay, run. Get to Luca. Peace out, Luca. Um, occupy Genoa. Take out Genoa. Take his islands. Um, remove the friendship with Hungary. Um, yeah, okay. I think I can fix this. Going Coptic? Yes. No, Orthodox. I think this is fixable. And then we just have to we take Lesbos and Skeel. And he'll, like, Mamluks will want to go for it. We island trap all of him in there. And then we occupy the Mamluks. It's... I'm gonna eat so much war exhaustion. <laughs> We've got the naval, um, better naval stuff now. Um, I can make cannons. And I'm gonna go... Quality. Do I want quality or offense? I think I'm gonna go quality. I just like quality. I'm a sucker for quality. We could go quality merc, right? Or no. If you're going merc, you go merc straight away, right? When are you playing uh, Balatro? I watched bald men play it. No admin? I could go admin, but I feel like my military needs to punch way above its weight. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I guess, uh, admin tech tech isn't that far away. Okay, I have unified, uh, religion again. So, I shouldn't get any rebels in Constantinople anymore. Um. And then I can fire this guy, and that means I put this on mill focus for no reason. We've won every battle. I've had one battle <laughs> in which I landed on Cyprus. That's the only mill battle I've had. Friendly reminders of Raidel because I cannot do that right now. I don't think I can safely do that. Like, I think if I do that, my I lose the straight crossings, right? I know I should, because I'll... If I don't do it, then I'll have the truce with them, and then I can't... Wait, do I already have the truce with them anyway? It's been raided recently. Yeah, I've already raided them. Yeah, okay, so I don't need to... Because I feel like if I if I try and go for it, then I'm going to be screwed. I also need to worry that um, Cyprus won't get released from its occupation. That is another concern. So I need to also spy on Genoa, because they have a fort that I will need. A level 3 fort that I'll have to siege down. Um, and we can afford cannons, I think. We want three. And hopefully we just don't walk into the thing that we're at war with. This is so scuffed. <laughs> this is... This is so scuffed. Oh, you won every battle last round? Did I? I don't think I did. I also took a mill idea. I think first. I think I took quality first in the first round. Right? Didn't I take quality? At least I think I did. One to a turn. Favors per month. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? Why? From attrition. I think... I honestly think that's what the, probably the most bullshit modifier. 
in the game. Like, yeah, I'm sieging something. So that apparently gives me war exhaustion. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. You know? I also might lose access through um, Ashru. Time to watch someone who actually knows how to play the game instead of trying to play myself and dying. Welcome. You know what I should be doing? That. Welcome, Tsukimi. It hasn't binged. Why isn't it binged? Did someone follow? There you go, that was it. Welcome, Jelly Mechanic Raid. Hello. Hello. It's Tsukimi. Oh my gosh. Door. I always struggle with your surname because it's the R next to the N and I read it as like an N. Right? I think good. Yep, I did do it right. I'm so happy. I do. Does anyone else struggle with that? Has anyone else struggled with that their entire life? Like R's and N's next to each other? Looks like they look like M's? I've always struggled with that. Anyway, welcome Raiders. Hello. How is Bloodborne? How are you going in Bloodborne? Are you enjoying it? Whereabouts in, in Bloodborne did you get up to? It sounds like horny. Hey, don't be like that. Ayo, we got Luca. Um, ooh, ooh, two base tax in Constantinople. Hello, hello, Altison. Struggling but enjoying it. Nice. I didn't like Bloodborne that much, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I also struggled it. You're in the snake forest? I hated the snake forest so much. Oh, good lord, the snake forest was the worst. Wasn't it awful? You're fighting the- Oh no, not the Shadow Trio. Yeah, they, they were my first- I think maybe they were my first war? It was a tough one. Um, I hope you- I hope you get it. Um, I ended up- I can't remember which guy I left last. Does anyone remember which guy I left last? Um... It's been a while. That- that was like, very early clear streams. Um, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Um, please check out Sunni. Very much. Orphan of Cost was... I mean, yeah, obviously Orphan of Cost was the real struggle. Ugh. Please, Mr. Cannons, don't walk into the rebels. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Clear. I play history games, I play strategy games. I'm playing EU4 today, because my community has been saying, you don't play enough EU4 on stream anymore. Bearing in fact, the bar bearing in mind that it is my most streamed game. I just want to point that out by like over a hundred hours. Oh. Um, but chat is like, no, you haven't played it recently, so it doesn't count. That's what chat sounded like. Um, only a hundred? Yeah, well, it's like 700 hours, I think, for EU4, and then 600 hours for Total War Warhammer, I think. Yeah, they'll deal with it. Um, is your chat addicted to this game? Yes. Well, it's the game that I started off streaming, and it's the game I think I'm probably most known for. Probably. Um. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize Theodora was Hungarian now. Okay. Um. Yeah, welcome, guys. If you, if you like history games, if you like strategy games, that's normally my sort of jam. Um, if you like action games, I do play a few of them. I do play a few of them. I played Helldivers. Have you guys played Helldivers? Tsukimi, have you played Helldivers? It's so much fun. You see you play Warhammer a lot more. I think it's just because Warhammer's gameplay is a lot more fun with the, the, the battles. Helldivers is fantastic. I agree. Oh. Hungary wants me to give them my trade power. No, sod off. Can you go away? Okay, we've sieged down Genoa. I didn't even need my goddamn cannons. What the hell? I can peace out Luca now. Give me your money. 
Japanese war rep. Join the fight. It's really good. It's really good. You've been eyeing it? It's a little expensive. It's the same price in Australia as the Elden Ring DLC, which I'm a little bit sad about. Um, I'm like, oh my god. But that's in June. Have you played Elden Ring? I think, I think for me, Bloodborne is my second least favourite. Um, of the, the FromSoft Souls likes, I guess. I wonder what the what they call it. What do they call it internally? What their type of game is? Like they can't call it Souls like, right? They probably don't. Action RPG. Bloodborne is your first non mecha from Oh yes, right, yes. I forgot you were a mecha addict, just like Jets. I forgore. I I think that's probably good enough. Feels like a massive expansion. Hopefully it is, because I'm very excited for it, and I don't want to be disappointed. Um, break your alliance with Genoa and Venice. Make Venice weaker. Actually, we should probably keep him his alliance with Venice, because we'll fight Venice, and fighting Luca is easier than fighting, I don't know, him allying France. Helldivers is 40 to $50. It's apparently in terms of very... Ah, oh, okay, that's good. Right, Genoa. I have your capital. He will give me the islands. I can't peace out Luca. I can't peace out Luca because Luca is the country giving access to the Ottomans. Oh. Can I really say your voice is really fantastic? Thank you. It's very nice of you to say. I hate my voice. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to have to bird that. Sorry, guys. Because I can't do my little cheaty cheats without... Oh, I can't do my strats without them having access to the Ottomans. Um, thank you for the follows, guys. Clear voice erotic. I don't think that's true. I think you're saying that to make fun of me. I think you are saying fun. Saying fun? Making fun of me. Jets, are you here? That artwork is... You got hips. You got hips, girl. You got hips. Clear voice funny? Is clear voice cute and funny? My voice is amazing. I disagree. I disagree. I can smell something really nice. What is that? I've forgotten what this smell is. One sec, I'm gonna take a peek in the kitchen really quick. It's funny because I, I made, I helped make it, and I don't know what it is. It might be a, wait, no, I didn't help what it is if it if if it's what I think it is. One sec. It is in fact not something I helped make because it is voice. And I got confused with yesterday. <laughs> I got confused with yesterday. Can you guys stop saying that you like my voice? It's erotic. I don't get it. I think you're joking. Okay, well, ruler died. We birded, so our ruler died. That makes sense. Okay, so the Ritz is we need to focus on dip i think and then who do we want to lead our glorious nation um voice is comfy at least merchant sun merchant sun merchant sun no, we have too high bourgeoisie. Nobility is down. 
Um, we could go nobility. A Turkish heritage. Uh, I wonder if we can get an Osmanoglu. An Osmanoglu ruler. That would be funny. Yeah? Holy! Oh, Dunk Slider already did the Iridium. Oh no, you're dis Disavoy. Oh right, because you'd still be my culture. <sighs> or exhaustion. Stop it. Tolerant. Doesn't help me at all, because my country is one religion. Um, okay. Wait, why are you... Why are you black flagged? I'm still at war with Luca. He lives on the second floor. What? Why do you no longer have... A eh? 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 Grants access to Luca. Grants access to... The man book. So I have to keep Luca in the war. So we can peace out Genoa at least. And the plan is we take this island and this island. We take his money and we... Um, we could pillage his capital. But I do want to break his alliances with too. And that's too much. It's slightly too much. Do we need the money? I think... True Dev. It is True Dev being uh, almost 10 AE, so maybe let's not do that. Let's maybe take four reps instead. Yeah, let's just go for money. Who doesn't trust us when we compliment him? I... Not really. <laughs> really um so we can cancel access now through ferrara you know it has rivaled us oh the plan didn't work i do have to piece out luca then i do have to piece out luca because otherwise he's just going to siege it down with luca okay so if we Peace out, Luca. I don't know, and just get rid of planes, sure. The problem is, right, if Luca's not in the war. Do the Mamluks still have access? I think they will? Because then, what I can do is I can island trap him in Lesbos. Which is going to give me crazy, crazy, crazy um, war exhaustion. What? You just got here! Do I bird that? You were a really good air. That's lame. What the hell? Also, Battlefield download keeps getting interrupted because I keep having to restart EU4. Um, and then playing it, and then that pauses it because you press play on the bat at the game. How do you stop that? How do I stop automatic games pausing when you download them? Like when you play another game? Is that just in settings? Is it downloads? Uh, allows download during gameplay.
Okay. I think it's working. Wait, what am I downloading instead? Something's being downloaded. Kenshi is being downloaded. What is what has Kenshi got in terms of patches? What? I do like the fact that I can stream and download because I guess it's different internets, right? Uploads and downloads are different things, I think. They're adding more limbs to lose. I don't think I can lose any more limbs. I think I think humans only have the limbs that they have already. I don't want to lose anymore. Do we have junk slide in this save? Uh yes. Yes we do. Uh stop them. And we peace out Luca and we hope that they keep the access. Two, one, there we go. Okay, the hope is he keeps the access and then we just go out of the port. And let's hope that he just walks in. If possible, I can try and make a guy appear there. Oh, it's really expensive. That's a very expensive joke. Do we still have that? Yeah, we do. Okay. The only problem is... Wait, why is the knights at war with... Oh, Poland is at war with... That's why Austria is dying. Taciturn, Taciturn underscore tactics gifted Olive Iman Row a subscription. Taciturn underscore tactics Oli. gifted a tier one sub to Olivia Monroe. They have given 79 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Thank you for the gift sub to Ollie. Um leave the transport ships behind. These guys out. There. Um is here and then we just have to wait for everyone to walk into Bega. And then we uh, detach the special unit, attach it onto this, go into Lesbos. Like so. Um, scorch Lesbos, go back. Wait, where is he going? He can't possibly go anywhere else. It's just Lesbos that he can cross. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bigger than what? He can. He has to go into bigger than Lesbos. This is where, if you don't know what the word lesbian comes from, it comes from Lesbos because that's where um, Sappho lived. That's why lesbian is used to describe homosexual women. Because of Sappho and Lesbos. The more you learn. The more you know, I mean. I don't know why I said that so weird. A bit more to it than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Being simplistic for the sake of not confusing the audience. Where are they going? Mamlocks, come back. Um, maybe I get the... This one? Find London Shields? No, use the boat. Where are the boats? Uh... Send in the Marine, because he's very fast. Look how fast he got off that boat. Holy heck. Lesbomancy. That's... Sans sauce. Does he seriously not have access? No, he still has access. Um, does the province getting occupied interrupt the it being called? I 
forget. Oh, Bohemia is now the Emperor. Oh, I forgot to pillage. I got to scorch it. I forgot to scorch it. Um, go back to Geos. There we go. Here's territories look like a beanie. Do they? Does it look like I'm wearing Lesbos as a hat? <laughs> Am I wearing Lesbos as a hat? Or do you mean more like that? Because it's the same color. I assume you mean that. Uh, let me relegate myself back to the streamer corner and put my hat back on. Hello. How was your how was your stream? Welcome Raiders. It's the Ray Raid on these nuts. Sorry, Ray, about I'm out of I'm out of nuts. How was your stream? Hello, hello. It's been a while? We were literally in a collab last week. No, this week. Hello, Ray. How is Yakuza 5 remastered? <laughs> I can't believe you forgot we were in a collab this week. I feel so forgotten about. This is so sad. Oh, so Austria. Oh, my lord. Well, I think Austria lost the Imperial Ban War. Holy. Super loyal? Hello. Well, we'll have Sweden, Swedish Burgundy soon. Or Swedish France soon. Where the fuck is. Where are the Mamluks? Come back. I don't understand where they are. Where, where have they gone? Hello. Are they asking for access round? What are they doing? I'm just gonna go scouts. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> Where? Wh you were just in a tiny corner on your own. You did that to yourself, though. Everyone's gonna pick Europe in the EU4 collab, of course. You were the silly sausage who was like, I'm gonna pick Ethiopia. Anyway, thank you for the raid, Ray. I hope your stream went well. I hope Yakuza went well. Um, if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Cleo, I play history games, I play strategy games, I'm bad at history, um, and I'm playing as the knights on very hard difficulty, and I beat the Ottomans, and now Hungary is big and scary, and now the Mamluks are annoying, and I don't know where they've gone. I'm hoping what is going to happen is Cyprus will uncon, and then I un occupy Antica. And I take it that way. That's that's my hope. I just have to land on Antica and occupy it. Um, I don't know where he is, is the problem. I don't know where his military is. I see his navy. I think that's his entire navy because I sank it. Let's have some of the ships. Where are these ships at? Where are they? I thought the game would go longer. Saffron only streams for like three hours, so... There you go. Thomas... And it'll be bad if I record this. 
and it gets occupied. But then I'm going to be overextended for so long. Oh, yeah. I have, I have a burger waiting for me, guys. Do you mind if I go eat a burger? Am I allowed to go eat a burger? I hope it's in Thai Navy, is it? Who? What? Eh? Oh! Oh, he's in the second war. He's, he's fucked off to the, the Timurids. For gear. Um, how long until Uncon? How long is it until Uncon? Is it five years of occupation? Um, it's eighty. It's been three years. Sixty months until Uncon, when the planets align. So that's five years. Okay. Um. Oh, everything's expensive. Okay, we'll just wait. Just wait. Speaking of waiting, I'm gonna go eat my burger real quick, so I'll be back in five, ten minutes. So be right back, guys. I apologize for going BRB, especially after just getting raided, but um Lindens. Um be back in five, ten minutes. So there's the message. I'll pin it. The message is pinned, so it's official. It's pinned official. And I will leave you with the BRB screen. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 